Welcome to URL's Battle Rap Arena. The street start north, hip out cycle. What's good, son? I'm chilling, chilling here, man. Just laid up with Jesse Mons. You know, we back together now. <laughs> she's over here. She made me some out of a You know, <laughs> no, she's she over here. She acting good. She's she a good lady, man. We were just talking about how Jesse's, you know, used to eat paint chips as a kid, and you know, it's crazy. <laughs> but you know, anyways, besides that, everybody's going crazy. The internet's going but noodles mm. off of this crazy, crazy, crazy battle. I'm gonna go out and say it. The battle of the year, Chilla Jones versus JC. I cannot come up with a winner. The battle is, it, it's amazing. And you know, you know what's crazy about this battle, um, Psycho? Yeah. That no personals, just yeah. bars. Who had the better pen game? Who had the better schemes? It was absolutely what a battle's supposed to be about. I'm not saying that personals are, 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 are you know, whatever, are bad. But a lot of people do use them mm -hmm. as cheat codes, and then this battle was strictly creativity, and and that's why I think to me personally it, it's the battle of the year. And and you know a lot of people saying surf versus um, conceited. I mean surf versus um big T, or uh, I heard a lot of Aver versus Hitman Holla. Mm -hmm. Now this is this is this is my point to this battle. Why I think J C versus Chilla Jones is the battle of the year. Now. I think a lot of people have decided a winner in the Big T battle versus yeah. Surf. I think a lot of people have a winner for the Hitman versus Aver battle. I agree. I don't think anybody literally has a clear winner for the JC versus Chilla Jones battle. I think it's such a debatable battle that you have to have it in the tie. I, I cannot see you having that battle any other yeah. way. It's, it's real hard to judge a winner. I know I had a hard time the day it happened, and I I, I remember that um, we did the recap and um, felt madness for the whole weekend. And I remember us saying that this is probably the, this probably was the battle of the weekend. Like a lot of people <laughs> didn't even really get to see probably the best battle of the weekend, which was Joe Jones versus J C. Like we can't wait for that battle to drop, and I still can't pick a winner. Oh my! God. I can't, and and it, I, I, it's crazy because, like, you know, the, the PGs and, and the one-offs that we do are fucking amazing. I love the whole that event. They were some of the Oh, there were so many good battles that day. But this battle, like, you just seen J.R. Ryder losing his mind. Murder mm -hmm. movie. Um, everybody does that. I said, my man, fud money. You know what's funny? What I like to watch, I like to watch Jazz the Rapper's facial expression was during that battle. <laughs> you know a battle's good when you just see her make a somebody farted face. Like, it's so crazy. <laughs> just like, oh. I, if you check my Instagram, Instagram is um, at streetstar, N-O-R-B-E. I actually posted, somebody made like a little, um, a little picture, of, a bunch of different pictures of Jazz's facial expressions during that battle. <laughs> and that's how you know this battle was incredible because she could not keep a straight face. Like it was just hilarious, and I love Jazzy's adorable little face when she gets crazy like that. But I mean, it's it, it, to me battle of the year, hands down. I don't even think it's close. I mean, what, I mean, what, how do you feel about it? I, I it's definitely definitely top five. It's, I, I, I said it before. Um, it's crazy because. Chilla actually got two of my top five battles of this year, which was um, him versus JC and him versus M City. Both of those battles to me is in my top five. But this one right here, yeah, this one definitely might get battle of the year up to this point. I don't want to be prisoner of the moment and forget the other battles that happened earlier this year, but this is a hard battle to top. I mean, I feel you. It's just, it's just how do you, the reason, like I said, the reason I say it's the battle of the year is because even though I thought the the uh, Big T versus Surf battle was crazy, mm -hmm. I think if you were to put up a poll, the majority of people would be going for one of them. And the same thing with the Ava or the Hitman battle. I think the majority of people will be going for one of them. I don't think... I think this will be split 50-50 with with yeah. and the show because it's so hard. Like, it's... It, how, how do you judge them? Like the round, it was so. It's like JC got crazy, 
Chilla goes yeah. crazy right after. JC gets crazier. Ch- Chilla gets crazier. Then JC goes. I thought JC left the planet round three, and then Chilla comes back and he loses. And mm-hmm. it was just like, usually somebody's round tails off. Where yeah. took the tail off in these battles? Uh, Where yeah. did, who took the the win? Like you know, like somebody just you know his round was stronger. Yeah, I can't even. I can't even like say like JC definitely took round one or Chiller definitely took round three. Like I can't tell you who took what round. Is, like yeah, it's, it's a toss up. It's crazy. I, I think Bill Collector had it. I think Bill Collector had the most accurate score to me. Like I think he had it. Like I think he said Chiller Jones round one, JC round two, round three tie. Like it was. It was just that. That's how close it was. Like how do you? I mean, it, it was crazy. I mean, everybody. I mean, I seen Alchemist, Just Blaze. Shout out to Just Blaze. Shout out to Alchemist. They shouted out the battles. The fans are going crazy. You know what I mean? Like, and, and, and it makes me happy to see, you know, and, and for a lot of people that think that, you know, I just picked the new guys. The entire roster that you are all, you know, damn near, you know, we all chose. You know what I mean? So, like, it's not just because I picked these guys that I also picked. Averb and, and 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 Big T and Surf and Young Mill and, and you could ask these people. I've handpicked them as well, but it's the fact that the hunger you see in Chilla Jones and JC, and I think a lot of people can learn from these two individuals right here of of how you're supposed to approach a battle. You know, sometimes people maybe they get too cocky, mm-hmm. maybe they're not as hungry enough. Maybe they eat. maybe they the eagles are inflated, and, and it seems as if JC and Shella Jones took heed to that that they weren't on that stage, that these people were called legends, and and, and they won't, they took they took that opportunity to prove to the world that they can battle and beat the so called legends, or or because those bars are with anybody that night would have won. I'm going to keep it yeah. up. If you take JC's balls against anybody that night, you know, yeah. I think they could have competed. If you take Chilla Jones' balls against anybody that night, they would have competed and, 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 and probably won, to be honest with you. Yeah. So what they did shows you the talent level that we have. But, you know, like a lot of times you go to other leagues, and I don't want to diss other leagues or whatever, but you go down their roster and you could pick you could usually pick the winner. If you go down our roster, anybody can be anybody on that roster. And that's what mm-hmm. I think makes the URL very special. You know what I mean? I think JC, I mean, he's a superstar. You know, and I'm proud of JC. Well, he's going to sound corny as hell. That was the best you know? I ever seen. That was the best I ever heard, JC. And he's he amazing. And, and it was crazy, uh, Psycho. Like when I first. And this is why I'm proud of JC. I'm really, it sounds like the proud father. But, you know, I'm not trying to say he's my son or anything like that, but, you know, whatever. But JC was one of the, the my first, when I, when I first created the PG, he was actually my first pick. Like, he was, I was like, I like this kid. No one knew who the hell he was. So when I bring him, everybody was trying to look at me like, yo, you really like this dude? Like, even, like, Smack and other people were like, yo, is, is, are you sure about this guy? And I was so confident in him, you know what I mean, and 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 to see where he's come from from when I first seen him against Luciano Crack. That's the first time I've seen him with Luciano Crack. And and and, and people watch that battle, he actually stumbled and choked, I think in round two or three. I don't remember what round it was. But what I foreseen for him when I see him on that stage is everything that I see now. And and, and it makes me it makes me happy. It makes me like really ecstatic to see where JC is now and, and, yeah. and how respected of an MC he is. And it shows by all the all the big names coming out I'm like, wow, this guy's amazing and, and it really it really it really warms my heart to see him get all this uh, love and affection out there from from the fans because when, when like I said, when I first ran J C and everybody was he was relatively unknown. You know what I mean? Nobody knew who J C was and people were like no, I was just showing favor to them because you're cool with them. I never met JC for a fucking. I didn't know Kate JC from a can of paint, and uh, you know, it just makes me happy to see that he is dope. And like he's starting to be received by the fans. Is like wow, because when initially I brought him on, people thought 
you know, like, what am I doing? And, you know, it's a challenge for me. I like to find those, those uh, diamonds in the rough, and, and, and I'm very proud, and I take a lot of pride in, in J.C. doing well. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So shout out to J.C. That, that's my little dude right there, and then I'm very happy for him. And then another guy's J., uh, Chilla Jones. Like, I see yeah. the Chilla. It's funny. That, you know, the, the funny thing is, it's like, well, when, I, when I first met Chilla Jones, I actually got a phone call. Because I, I talk to everybody. Like, I'm very humble. You reach out to me on Twitter if you're really serious about your craft. Uh, I'll give you my number. You can call me. And uh, Chilla Jones, I think he hit me on Twitter. He was like, yo, dude, check me out. And I get hit up by a million people. And I give him my number, and he's like, yo, what's up, my name's Chilla Jones, and, you know, I'm starting this thing called the Shark Tank Battle League. So I was like, all right, cool, you know, whatever, everybody starts the league, and he starts, you know, he's really dope. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, yeah, I've, I've heard, I've heard that a million times, that he's, you know, somebody's dope, get an illness nigga out, and, mm-hmm. um, you know, I was like, whatever. So I was like, listen, when you, when you start your league, he actually told me, look, I, I know people say I tell it to you all the time, so whenever I shoot my footage for my battle, I'm going to send it to you. I was like, all right. I wasn't even expecting anything. Mm-hmm. Um, finally, his battle got sent to me. And at first, I didn't watch it. I think, I don't know who called me. I was like, yo, check him out. And I went, and I was like, oh, that's the kid I was talking to with someone. And I watched his battle against Flames. And I was like, this dude is fucking amazing. And he was supposed to be in last year's class. Mm-hmm. With me, Magic, and, uh, and John John, and Bill Collect, and all of them. But he felt as if he wanted to, you know, tune up a couple more battles and, and you know, get his pen game right and what he wanted to do, which I totally respect, you know, as, as, as a man. And um, I finally bring him over. I, I, I put him against Strange. And um, I watch him against Strange. And I'm very high on Chilla. Like, I was really talking high about Chilla Jones to everybody, smacking everybody. And I'm going to be honest with you, I was very disappointed in that battle. I was very disappointed. Mm-hmm. And um, I seen it in everybody's face in there. And I was really upset. And I remember talking to Smack and everybody, and they were kind of looking at me like, no, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and, and yeah, when that happens, when, when the big homie looks at me and he tells me, what are you doing? It really irritates me. And I remember walking up to Chilla Jones after the battle. And um, and I told Chilla, I was Chilla, you know, I believe in you, my nigga. I think you're yeah, one of the... Ill- this is why I brand you here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I brand you here because I feel like you got it. And this is what I expect from you. And uh, most people would have just been like, oh, fuck you. You know what I mean? Whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they're arrogant. And, um... Real talk, Chilla Jones just was like, you know what? You're right. He called me, I think, the next day and was like, yo, I'm going to prove you. I'm going to prove you, you know, I'm going to make sure next time you see me, I'm going to get busy. And then the next time was against uh, Cash Ian. Cash Ian. He did the one round battle. Cash Ian went crazy. And ever since then, it seems as if Chilla Jones gets better with every performance. And um, mm-hmm. like I said, it was hard to see these guys, you know, they make me look good. You know what I mean? They made me look good. And um, finally, them two got to see each other. And they put on a classic. So it makes me really feel, that makes me feel really good to see these two guys, you know, where they are right now. Probably the two hottest dudes coming up right now. And then, like I said, man, like, it's a, it's a great feeling, it's like, though, to see these guys evolving and turning into the superstars that they are. Because they're superstars. You know, Chilla Jones has his own style. Nobody can say they rap like Chilla Jones. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he's, he, it's amazing. I think Daylight put it best. Nobody else can do what Chilla Jones does and make it that exciting, you know? So, you know, I got to take my I gotta take my hat off to, to Chilla Jones and, and JC for probably the best battle that I've seen in a long time. I've seen people compare it to Lux Move, you know? So that that's, yeah. that's crazy. I think 10 years from now, people will be pulling back to that battle, you know, so. I know that people love the, the whole throwback betting, too, of the store yeah. element. Yeah. The whole Lions Den thing, yeah, I, you know, I mean, it, it was it was definitely, it was definitely an amazing thing, man, like, to, to have the throwback weekend and, and see these guys get crazy, 
you know? Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. It warms my heart, man. It, war- it makes me feel really good, man, to, to, to see these guys, you know, just develop into just amazing talents, man. So, I don't know. I mean, shit. You tell me how you feel, man. I, like I said, I definitely feel like it's one of the better battles I saw this year, possibly the best. And, yeah, like, I I just like, <laughs> it's crazy because me and Jesse were talking about this battle earlier. He's going to kill me for this, but <laughs> he was talking about this battle earlier. And um, he, he he was going over, we was going over some of the bars we heard. And, um, of course, Jesse um, points out uh, the Chilla Jones bar of the Fresh Print. And he didn't really get it. So I had to, I was trying to break it down to him, and he just, he just wasn't grasping. I had to break it down to him like three times. I'm like, damn, Chilla should have just slow it down in that verse or something because, I, <laughs> because you ain't catch it, Jazz ain't catch it. <laughs> A lot of them was having problems with that bar, but that shit was crazy. But that's, see, I like shit like that. I like shit that make motherfuckers think motherfuckers might not catch the first time around, and we got a lot of that in that time. Definitely got replay value. No, 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 I feel you, man. Like I said, I love watching Jazzy's face. It was hilarious, man. Just watching her, like, like ooh, like, like her facial expressions are so hot. And, it, and it's funny, a cycle, because <laughs> whenever there's a really good battle, like, Jazz is my good luck talk. No lie. And whenever I be like, Jazz, I need to host this battle, it always means that it's going to be a classic. Jazz is my good luck charm. Let everybody know right now. That is my good luck charm. And I know a battle's crazy when her facial expressions just look like she's caught, like she's taking a shit or something sticks. And, it, and it's just amazing to me. It really is, to be honest. <laughs> and I, I think Chilla Jones is on the line if you actually yeah. have him. Yeah, you we have got Chilla right here. Yeah, Chilla, you there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's good? Chilla Jones, what's good, my, 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 uh, my my New York guy, what's up, brother? Shit, man, just watching the debate a little bit, man. Biden getting crazy in there, man. Oh, what, what, what debate? Vice presidential debate. Yeah, uh, you, you know what's crazy? I actually been uh, a lot of people got mad at me because I said uh, I wasn't sure if I was voting for Obama. I mean, me and Nicki Minaj, you know, we've been talking, and uh, apparently, <laughs> we, we, you know. People are mad at us for saying that, but like I said, I'm I'm voting for the issue, and uh, I haven't decided who I'm voting for yet right now. So if everybody's out there who is really actually going to seriously vote and not vote because, you know, whether, I don't know, whatever, just vote for the issue. Don't vote because you're a Democrat or a Republican. Vote on the issue. That's all I can tell you guys. So, you know what I mean? But anyways, bigger than the election, Trilla Jones versus J.C. Lang. Yes, I'm gonna, sir. I already just went out and said it. Battle of the year. I don't care what anybody else says. Seriously, it's it, it's it's amazing. What's the feedback you've been getting right now with the battle, Chilla? Crazy, crazy feedback, man. Like no negative feedback, which is you know it's weird for a battle. You know what I'm saying? Usually a battle, you can kind of pick any battle and find some people who didn't like something about it, you know what I'm saying, but on so many different levels, like I swear, everybody just keeps saying battle of the year, nobody's even picking a winner, you know what I mean, like usually you get a, usually I get a lot of tweets like, oh, I think you won 2-1, I think you lost 2-1, or whatever, whatever, Um, not so much with this battle though, with this battle it's like, yo, I can't call it, it's a tie, Mm -hmm. best battle I've seen, in a in a very long time, like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, what I'm saying? it's a little a little different. Like I wasn't getting that so much with the city battle, but the city battle was really, oh, I think you might have got it two one. I think he might have got it two one, and it was more about who really edged it and how you felt about it. But this one, mm-hmm. like people aren't concerned with so much about who won, and you know, part of my third round isn't even there, and it's like it do, it doesn't even matter. The the battle's a fucking classic. No, and it's crazy, and that's what I was just telling Psycho. I was like, Psycho, like, like people will bring up the verb battle with Hitman, and I'm not trying to knock that battle or the big T versus Surf, but it, it, most people had a winner or a decisive winner that they felt was. But in this battle, 
everybody's kind of just like, I don't know. Like, it, mm-hmm. this is the most debatable battle ever. Literally, like, nobody knows who won. Like, it's crazy. I've never seen a battle like that. It's like, it's like two punchers going at it for 12 rounds, and each round is a draw. Or just, it's so much action that you can't even decide. It's, it's crazy. I mean, I couldn't decide when I was there. I still can't decide now. You know, I mean, it, I mean, there's so many quotables in this battle. Like, it is ridiculous. When you did the whole violin thing, the whole instrumental, um, oh, no, but that was crazy. The whole instrument uh, sequence you did, that was crazy. When JC did the whole, uh, I could rap better than you and did it, that, that was crazy. Like, yeah. Oh, my God. What would the, let's, let's, let's have you look at it from a fan's perspective. What was your favorite part of the battle in terms of what you did and what JC did? Um, from a fan's perspective, and I'm a fan first, so this is me being as unbiased as somebody who was in the battle could possibly be. But um, as far as JC, I really liked his the, – the angle he took in the second round I thought was really clever with doing the impersonation of me. Um it was outside the box, and I think that's what a lot of people really like about it. Um, and he had some tough, tough punch lines in that round. That round was crazy. Um, from a fan's uh, perspective, in my second round, I like the rebuttal. Um, I always really like rebuttals and people rebuttal. Um, the music instrument speaks was really crazy. The uh, follow you with the chopper like a high speed chase was crazy. That was crazy. Um, crazy. And these, these like these are my personal favorites as well. But this is also a lot of the bars that I'm being tweeted that a lot of you know a lot of people feel like was some of the strongest bars from the battle. Um, and then in the third round, his third round, I can't even. There's so many different bars in his third round. That's crazy, man. And I I can give it up for him. You know what I'm saying, like. I'm, I'm not going to sit over here and, and spend all this time trying to convince y'all that I won this battle. Like, honestly, the, the the battle on both sides was impressive, and I just really hope everybody appreciates that shit for what it really is. Mm. And that, that shit is crazy. Like, bar for bar, on a bar for bar level, uh, the, the fact that we're both two up-and-comers, he's from the Midwest and from the East Coast, like, for so many different reasons, this matchup made sense on so many levels, and when it finally happened, it was like, boom. Mm. Like, reached its full potential. Like, it's crazy. And, and I saw it from a mile away. I, right after I battled Strange, I got interviewed. Shout out Bloody Knuckles. Right outside the PG. He said, what you want? Who's next? I said, I want JC, man. This was February. Mm. I seen this from a mile away. I wanted this matchup. You know what I'm saying? And finally, somebody reached out to me. Um, shout out Raj and Pontiac, but he reached mm-hmm. out to me to to try and make the battle happen. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you know what I'm saying. It's, it's no mystery that I I put up a little bit of bread to make this battle happen. It was supposed to be on a smaller league, and that's and that's why it was set up that way. Um, mm-hmm. This was also before I had my match with Cash, and it was before I had my match with City. So it was really like. I was supposed to go from Strange directly to JC. So this match, we had kind of been trying to put all the details together, but we had kind of been in talks to do it since about March. Um, and it just so happened that through my battle with Cash and my, through my battle with City, that URL decided, you know what, let's let's make it some. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's not just let it go down on, on a on another league, like, these are two of our, our brightest guys, let's do it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Norbs, because Norbs is real instrumental in making that happen, man. He really, uh, really made that happen. So, y- y'all, y'all should be tweeting Norbs. Thank you for, for, for making this battle on URL happen. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? When I first heard the battle, I was upset that you guys were doing it over there, but I was like, you know what? Because I wanted this battle from jump. I was like, yo, these are two of my favorite, favorite people besides this battle. And I thought you guys, you know, was, I don't know, man. That, to me, like, you guys made me proud, like, for real. And I, I was saying earlier, because I was like, you know, everything was about the legends. 
Peter Moot and Solomon and Lux and, and, and Sirius Jones and, you know, everything was about them that weekend. And um, I remember telling people about the PG, and I was like, yo, I think this PG, I think arguably these battles might be better than the ones on Madness. People looking at me like I was crazy. And I was, and I remember specifically talking about this battle. And I was like, yo, this battle is going to be retarded. And and it, it even surpassed my expectations. And to see people tweeting that this is the battle, not even the best battle of the weekend, possibly the battle of the year, maybe the best battle ever. <laughs> Holy well, uh, I think it speaks volumes. Just for the fact that it showed the hunger of, of, of both you guys. And I hope you guys never lose that hunger. You know what I mean? Because you've seen what happens when you lose that hunger, and, and like I said, like I'm, I, I was, I was ecstatic to, for this battle. I, I was calling Smack every day. I Smack, you gotta drop this battle, nigga. I understand you're around with French and and, and two chains, everybody, but nigga, we need this battle now. And um, I mean, shit, man. I mean, when you found out it was dropping, what, what, I mean, how excited were you? Um, I was real excited, man, and I was. Honestly, I was real excited with the timing of everything. You know what I mean? The, the, the way it just worked out to where we got to do the battle the day before Summer Madness, which I think was a huge look for us to be able to headline the event leading up to Summer Madness. And then on top of that, right in the midst of Loaded Lux coming back and doing what he does on top of Meek Mill and Reed Dollars might be coming back. Like all this, all these things are happening in the battle rap world. It's just really getting popping and interesting. And then boom, here we are. Drop our battle. You know what I'm saying? Right in the middle of it. So I, I just think the timing of everything was beautiful, man. I, I love the timing of, of when it came out. I, I thought I thought the there was a crazy hype around it, and I was really worried that there would be so much hype around it that it would drop and people would be like, oh, well, it didn't really live up to expectations. And I knew it was a great fucking battle, but you never know what other people are going to think about it until, until the shit really comes out, man. And uh, I'm so happy with the reception it's getting uh, from everybody. There's very few people that I have spoken to who don't think it's the battle of the year. And that's other battlers, that's supporters, that's all across the board, mm -hmm. you know, and being being tweeted by like Alchemist, Just Blaze, you know, what I'm saying Roy said some shit a little while ago. Like, That's it's crazy, crazy man. It's, it's it's new for me. Maybe I, I'm sure it's not new to any of the other main stage battlers, but to me, I, I guess it's a real humbling experience. It's just new to me. Man, you know, it was crazy. I remember when I first told her, like, chill it, man. It's gonna get crazy. Believe me, like, is it everything I told you? And then, <laughs> like, how's, how's every, like, Just Blaze, that, that's huge. I'm a big fan of Just Blaze. You know, like, when you get all this love from these celebrities and stuff like that, I mean, what was the most shocking thing that someone said to you or who reached out to you? Um, I mean, I guess it would be Just Blaze so far, man. He's, like, he's my favorite producer by far, yo. So, to... To see him tweet, you know, J.C. vs. Chilla Jones is fucking amazing. I forget exactly what he said, but, like, to see him tweet that and then, uh, you know, that have him hit me back, like, yeah, keep killing him. Like, this shit was crazy, man. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> that, sh that shit was crazy, man. That shit really, like, humbled me. That, that shit made me hungrier. That shit really, you know what I'm saying, it it's kind of driving me more, you know what I'm saying, to to keep doing what I do and to keep that focus in. And I and I never had a problem with being focused or, or, or with having that motivation. But shit like this really makes it stronger. So I I, I, mean, I I can't wait to get back on that stage, man. I can't wait to get back on that stage. I mean and, and I and I and we're gonna get to your next opponent because I seen you guys going back on Twitter. But first I I, I can't wait. To, I don't know if Joe McCoy seen it, because Joe McCoy is a big fan of and JC. So he, when I told him about the battle, he was like, he knows it was crazy. 
I told him it was the best battle of the year, and I can't wait till he sees it. And, I, and when I tell you Joe McCoy from the San Bay Buccaneers is a huge fan of the URL, it's crazy. I remember, I think it was you versus, I think it was you versus MC. This nigga was tweeting me all your lines, my nigga. Like, texting me all your lines, and I'm dying laughing because I know this is one of the battles he want to see. I can't wait to talk to him just so I know he he can literally recite everything <laughs> that you spoke. I'm, I'm telling you, him, he loves you and JC. I mean, it's crazy. These NFL people, NBA players, everybody is watching what we're doing right now. I mean, it, it's kind of humbling, man. Like, I mean, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm a celebrity, son. Get out of here. But that's crazy, son. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am the most handsome member of the URL staff. Hands down. Smack's beard is terrible. Chico looks, I don't know what the fuck. Chico looks like a cheetah. And then BZ looks like Midget from um from New Jersey Drive. It's it's amazing. Uh, you know what made me laugh about the battle with Chilla? Was uh Jazz's faces. Did, did did you get to actually watch Jazz did you even notice Jazz's faces while you were rapping and JC was rapping while you were there? I started to in the third. I, I didn't really notice it like leading lead in, in, in the first couple of rounds. I was just kind of in my zone. But the the, the, the third round, I definitely started to notice more the uh, the faces she was making. It's, it's just hilarious. But yeah, Jazz. I mean, Jazz is always at. You know, what I'm saying she was at the cash battle, um, in the crowd, and you know, she, she kind of had the same kind of reactions. You know what I mean? Like she she always seems to. Be at yeah, one of my joints with the crazy faces, but um, <laughs> you know, shout out, shout out to Jazz. She's a, uh, you know, I fuck with Jazz, man. She's a real heavy supporter of the culture. You know, she goes out to all the events, shows love. You know, what I'm saying keeps it real about her opinion. You know, what I'm saying I respect anybody who puts their time back into the culture. You know what I mean? So, uh, well, now I seen uh, I was on Twitter earlier, and then, and you know. There was one person in particular that thought your battle was cool, but felt like you weren't ready to step in the ring with. Him. I mean, would you like to name that 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 person? I mean, you know, and how how did you feel about his comments? You talking about you talking about my November opponent? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, it's all right. I'm put it out there. I don't care. Be magic. Can, can you tell me, I see you guys going back on it on Twitter, you guys were going at it. He was, you know, you know. I mean, how did you take the trash talk that he was saying and basically saying that you're not ready for him? Sound good. Sound real good. The problem is we still got to get in that ring. Mm. I've never been a talker. You know what I'm saying? If, yeah. if you look at before my battle with Cash or anybody, I don't get on Twitter and talk, man. I'm cooking up this death. We gonna get in the ring, so no matter what I tell you now, because when we get in that ring, that's all that matters. So I don't really be into that, but I, you know, I say I fuck with Magic. Magic's my dude, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he he like to to talk his shit. I'm gonna talk my shit back to him. You know what I'm saying? But I, uh, you know, I'm I'm expecting another classic, man. Like. That's honestly what I'm expecting, and this is why, um, you know, I, I try to get certain opponents because I feel like all of these matchups I feel like my supporters have asked for. Me and City, I asked on Twitter a while back after Cash, who would y'all like to see me go against? Top three names were City, JC, B Magic. Cool. I already. Huh? Can I say again? Well, I, said, I was talking to JC about, um, you know, because a lot of people, you know, like, you know, JC goes out of town and he does battles, and some of these people go like, oh, he's not going, at, he's not, and I'm like, uh, you know, a lot of these guys go to different leagues, you know, to, you know, to get money, it's all good, whatever. Right. But, um, people were, 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 were kind of downplaying him over his last battle. And my dog is going crazy. I don't know if you guys hear him, but he's an asshole. But um, 
<laughs> yeah, I, I just lost train of thought because of my fucking dog. I'm about to boot him about 48 yards. But um, JC was saying that his mindset when he went to battle you was a lot different. And he told me before the battle, he was like, yo, I'm not playing with Chilla. And I know a lot of MC say that all the time. And he was just like, after you guys battled, he was like, he worked so hard because he knew if he were to take you lightly, he would have probably got killed in that ring. I mean, how was your approach mentally going into that battle, and how did you approach it? Same. Same approach, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know how familiar JC was with me prior to getting in the ring. I know when we first were setting it up, he wasn't too familiar with me. And again, this is before the battle with Cash Drop. Um, but when the battle with Cash Drop, and he, you know, he seen what I was capable of, I think he, he was like, oh, okay, well, you know, he's not just one of these dudes in one of these other leagues trying to, you know, pay for a name, and try and come up. Like, nah, he's, he's, in, he's already in URL. Like, this matchup isn't really to advance his positioning, like. He's trying to try make a classic, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm, I'm glad he, he didn't slack. I'm glad he didn't take me lightly, you know what I'm saying? And, I, and I'm glad I didn't take him lightly either, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I like playing the underdog. I don't like when I'm favored. I feel like a lot of people expected me to beat City. And I think that has more to do with the fact that a lot of people just don't like City for some reason. I think City is a great lyricist. And I think he's nice all around as a battler. I think his performance against me, he should have a pretty nice matchup. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think that was the best performance ever. So, like, I feel like a lot a lot of my supporters, at least, I mean, and I guess they, they're supposed to feel that way, but a lot a lot of my supporters say, yo, you're going to 3-0 City, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. But versus JC, it wasn't so much like that. It was like, yo, I, ca I can't call this one. Mm -hmm. Even going into it, you know what I'm saying? My my supporters and his supporters are like, yo, we, I, I want to be there because I don't, I don't know who's going to take it. No. You know and, and that's like how the battle comes out. Now, do you feel like when you went into this battle, was your mentality to outperform everybody that weekend? Because I know it was a big weekend. You had Loaded Lux. You had Murder Move. You had uh, T-Rex. You had uh, Hitman Holly. You had Sirius Jones, Clips. Do you feel when you went in there, you were like, I'm proving a point. I'm going to have the best performance this weekend out of anybody. Not just in this card right now, but everybody that's performing this weekend. Was that your mentality going in there? That, that was my mentality, and I'm pretty sure that was also JC's mentality. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I, I remember when we at first started talking to URL to try try and make this happen, we had pushed for it to be on the main stage. Obviously, because of the legends coming back, it wouldn't have made much sense to have a song there. Makes sense. I get it. So we said, you know, we'll, we'll do the one-off and we'll, we'll do some other PG battles. And sounds like a plan. Like, we'll, we'll do an event before the event. You know what I'm saying? So... I definitely felt like I wanted to show and prove that I could hang. You know, obviously a small room is, is different than a summer madness stage. But, you know, I, I definitely wanted to show people that I'm improving. Like, that's the one thing I try, try to show people. Every time they see me, I want them to see an improvement. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I want them to like me more than they did the battle before. When that stops, that's when people kind of get stale. The people yeah. you see in URL that have done 9, 10, 11 battles, because people watch them and they like them the same every time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just keeping it 100. So, like, mm. when when people watch me, I want them to say, damn, he, he was cold against Cash. I thought he was better versus City, and I thought he was even better versus JC. I like for people to want to watch me to see how I progress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like really taking an interest instead of just saying, oh, he's battling so-and-so. He's already battled four other people this year and lost two of them. And I also think people aren't 
strategic enough with their matchups, man. They just pick shitty matchups for a check. But that's a whole other subject. I don't want to get into right now. No, no. Do you feel like you outperformed everybody on that summer madness part? Honestly. Um, I don't think I outperformed Rex. I think Rex had the performance of the weekend with Lux. Um, those two I will not say I outperformed. Um. I don't know, man. Sirius and Clips was pretty crazy, too. Um, You're too humble for me, man. You're too humble for me. Hey, <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm going to tell you like this, no, it, it's from a, fan pers- I'm a, from a fan perspective as well, my G. And, and I can, I'm humble enough to say, I believe lyrically, lyrically, yes, without a doubt, I feel like me and Lux had the best lyrical rounds that weekend. But I also understand it's about more than that. If you, if you look at performance, I would say Rex and Hitman had the best performances. I'm not talking about bars, I'm not talking about none of that other shit. Performances, mm-hmm. which on the big stage is important. You know what I'm saying? I definitely think I had one of the best performances of the weekend, without a doubt. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say the best, though. I think I'd be disrespecting Rex. I'd be disrespecting Lux. Uh, it's funny. I've seen Loaded Lux tweeted today. Classic. And Loaded Lux came out his way and, and, and showed you love, you and JC. Now, having said that, if you take your bars, right, mm-hmm. against JC, and you put them against Loaded Lux or Calico, who wins that battle? That's a question I have for you. Um... So what do you, what are you saying if if I take my rounds and put them against Calico's rounds? No, if you put them against Loaded Lux's rounds. Um, who who do you think's rounds are better? Who do you think wins that battle? If if we're talking about using the rounds that we spit that weekend, then I, I would I would Off say Lux. Ball, who wrote better verses? That's what I'm saying. Not against each other. Bar from bar from both better verses. <laughs> bar from bar, I would say me. But see, this is the this is the difference between my opinion and other people's opinions. I would okay. say me, Nor, and I would say me because a lot of people, when I do my schemes, they see it as you're building up to a punchline. When I do my schemes, if you notice, like, when I when I perform my schemes for a crowd, a lot of people say they're, like, boring or drawn out. But when I do them for a crowd, the crowd reacts after every two bars. So my, my question for the people who think that way is, if people are still reacting every two bars, then what's the difference between how I do my schemes and somebody who punches every two bars? Mm-hmm. I think the the thing that makes it better or more advanced than just somebody who punchlines every bar is the fact that I'm I'm staying on a concept and building up to something. Yeah. I think anybody, I I could write, it's easy for me to just do back-to-back punchlines if all they have to do is rhyme and they don't have to make sense. Mm -hmm. To me, it's more challenging to do schemes. That's why I like doing them. Yeah. I think that's why people like listening to him. Mm-hmm. So, I, I mean, mm-hmm. now I was just going to say, you know, to the original question, like, bar for bar, I think my rounds were stronger. Just lyrically, bar for bar, I, I would say my rounds were stronger than Lexus. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I, I know the fans have a million questions for you, so I got to... Uh, it's like we got to pick into the questions. I'm going to take a quick break. You guys get to the questions. Chilla Jones, this is your show. Get to the fans. Hey. Right. Uh, 631, you there? Yo, it was good. It's, uh, no upside. Chilla, what up, yo? It's Lex Ad Boy, man. My bro on the Twitter. What up? What up, G? Yo, man. It's going to be a lot of head rolls, man, for this one. It's crazy. <laughs> hey, yo, man. I'm going to be... Uh, I don't. I, if you want to call me prisoner in the moment, it is what it is, man. I re, I think that's the that's the best battle I ever watched on camera, G. Like real talk. Like as far yeah, as back and forth, on, man. Like as far as back and forth, that's the best battle I ever watched. Like and Mook and Mook and Lux 
is a classic, you know what I mean? Being that they statues, they legends. But I don't think Mook fought. I don't think Mook matched Lux's intense, intensity in that battle. You know what I mean? That's why I feel like Lux won. And then Verb and Hitman, that was a lot of personals and all that. But I feel like you and JC, like, y'all, like, oh, my God, man. Like, I, you know how long it took me to get out of round one? Like, just going back? <laughs> like, did you just hear that, man? Like, you feel what I'm saying? I want to point out my, my favorite parts of the battle. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. JC, I feel like one in, for round one and two, y'all went noodles. But three in round three, JC, the whole setup to when he was talking about Pinky limo driver, that shit was crazy. Like, that was crazy. And then when you when you went off about the uh, when you flipped the Julian joint, it was like the nail you J. Like that was crazy, yo. Like, you know what I mean? Like, y'all y- y- dudes went off, man. My question to you is like, when you go up against a dude like JC, is like, do- like doesn't anybody else after that? It's like, uh, it's like uh, this is this is gonna be easy, man. Cause you know if it's not Lux ill. You know, dudes that when they in front of you, not 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 just rapping like you know that 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 extra energy. You know what I mean? Like why they right. think you know that? You know what I mean? Like if you're not going against dudes like them, isn't like any other opponent just like kind of easy? And I'm not taking none away from B Magic because I can't wait to see that. That is going to be crazy. But I just wanted to ask you, like you know, how you isn't it kind of easy? You know what I mean, after facing a dude like JC. Um. I don't know if it's easier. Um, I think, I just think it's different. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, I don't think it's easier. I don't necessarily think it's more difficult either. If I had to put a label on it, I would say, I might actually say it's more difficult because I feel like somebody like B Magic potentially can get a reaction every single bar. Yeah. Because of how his style is built. You know what I'm saying? If he's really in a zone, He's, yeah. he's going to get a reaction every two bars. You know what I'm saying? And depending on, on the the potency of my schemes, you know what I'm saying, sometimes my schemes hit every two bars, but sometimes they hit every four. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it really just depends on what the scheme's about and, the, and a lot of other things or how people fuck with it. So, like, it, yeah, yeah, it might be a little bit more difficult to me because JC punches quick, but B-Magic, Without a doubt, to me is the is the the fastest puncher as far as how many times he's gonna hit you with a punchline in one round. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be a classic, without a doubt. I mean, two more things because I know a lot of callers want to get to you. Um, another thing, when when round three, when you were standing there round three and JC was going crazy, like I was sitting here like, yo, this might win it for him, and it was like, I like like I don't know, like when when your round started, it was like. Them first balls you came out with after you delivered that R and B scheme shit, like your whole body language was like, nigga, you thought you was gonna go off on me in that round, like, <laughs> yo, my God, like I felt you, I felt you right there, like this nigga crazy, like yo, like yo, that was crazy, man, like salute, yo, yeah. man, your pen, your pen got that. a fire in it, man, like what's this boy, man? You know what I mean, just just salute, just you know what I mean, when you battle B Magic, man, come with that same. Intense level, you know what I mean? I, I want to hear bars, man. I, I'm not a dude that just listen to every three bars, and I I listen to every word that's said. You feel what I'm saying? Like I, right. I, that's what used to you feel me? Like that's why right. you know what I mean? I, I really pay attention. I follow this whole culture. So when when these type of battles are set up, and I know the backgrounds of the rappers, it that, it makes it even better. You feel what I'm saying? So right. And before I get out of here, I don't not to jump off ship and all that, but. You know, Lux might have a check in the mail, man, from Drake, man. I don't know if y'all heard. I, I tweeted y'all. I don't know if y'all heard the uh, Rick Ross and Drake song, the, the new song called Us. And I mean, if you get a chance, check that out. And I mean, and Drake verse. And I mean, he said the whole you going to get this work slogan. Like, you know what I mean? It, 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 it might just be me. But you get a chance, check that song out, man. Lux need a check, man. He need to, he need to uh, trademark that, get, get that thing licensed, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to check that out. That's crazy if he did, though. Yo, Drake said that in his verse. I would not lie, you know what I mean? But you get a chance. It's crazy. But other than that, that battle is classic. I think it's the best ever. You know what I mean? I'm from prison the moment is what it is. I know I'm not the only man in this world. If it's not one, it got to be two or three. That's a fact. You said it, bro. Real talk. But Norbs, the whole URL, you already know what it is, man. Salute. Smack. Let's go.
get to the next floor. Let's do uh, 917, you there? Yo, yo. Yo. Yo, what's poppin', man? It's Jacob from Brooklyn, what's man. Up? Yo, what's chillin', up, man. Up? I just, man, this this battle is one of the best battles I've seen in a long time. Best one-off, for sure. Best one-off. Shit is crazy. Congratulations. Yo, like, it's an honor to be a fucking fan of this shit. Like, I be going to the events. I didn't make it to that one, but I be going to all of them, and it's fucking crazy, man. Like, I just want to know, like, D-Magic, I think that's going to be another classic. I just want to know who else you want on your radar besides D-Magic. Um, we, we try to set it up, um, but I am trying to get Heartless. Um, Ooh. I would like to wow. go back Heartless, and then... You know, depending on how the, how the magic matchup go, and, and if Harless is down, and we do that, depending on how that matchup go, you know, then I might start stirring shit up a little bit and, and try and get me a, a big name. But, but you know, I'm chilling, man. Like, I, I really just want to put in this work. Like, I'm not going to politic, and I'm not going to campaign for a big battle. Like, I, I'm, I'm going to make the fans demand that big battle. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm going to just keep trying to do what I do, keep getting better. Perfecting these performances and, and putting on classics, man. That's what the fans want. Hell yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying, man. Congratulations, man. That's basically what I had to say, man. Keep doing your thing, boy. Appreciate it, bro. For sure. No, no doubt. Thanks for the call. Let's go. Uh, eight one six. You there? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I want to um just say um yeah, Chilla um did his thing. Him and JC, you know what I'm saying? They both put on a certified classic and. They should be the ones getting paid 100k instead of murder move for some boosty <laughs> ass performance on uh, Solomon. And, uh, another thing I wanted to quick get on real quick. Why don't y'all um do a um show down here in Kansas City, man? You know what I'm saying? This is home of the real Tech Nine, not URL Tech Nine, but you know Kansas City Tech Nine. I mean, we don't got no love down here in, in Kansas City. I mean, it is the Midwest, though. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, ain't nobody gonna get killed down here. You know what I'm saying? You know, this Kansas City has the ugliest people alive right now. That's what that's the rumor in the Midwest. Uh, ugliest so, people? What, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <Nah. laughs> <laughs> 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 um, I mean, like I said, we'll, we'll be probably touring everywhere soon, so we're just staying real, real, you know. We'll, we'll, be, we'll get to Kansas City, you know. Hey, I was going to say, y'all need to have one year without Summer Madness in NY. So them fans will see, hey, you know what I'm saying? They just cut that, cut that shit out. You know what I'm saying? Just one year out in NY. Have it in Detroit. Have it in um, St. Louis. Oh, yeah, and I want to see Aver versus Chilla. After, after Chilla go through everybody he going through, I want to see Aver versus Chilla. That's my dream match right there. I think that match right there, I think that could do so. And I want to see it in St. Louis on Aver home court. I want to see that match up for real because I don't want to see it in New York because New York people are always booing and shit and all that shit. So. Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> Dude, I mean, they, 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 they are though. Am I lying? Are you serious? I am I lying though. They always booing. I don't want to see. I don't, I, they gonna boo Verb anyway. I don't want to. I don't feel like hearing that boo shit. Let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. Quick question. Yeah. If Enos would have battled in the same house and he spit what he spit against DNA, would they have booed him? Now they probably would have drive by shot him when he left out the club. They probably rolled up on the side. Come on, come on. I'm serious. I'm saying, they probably would have did that shit. Though. Well, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, you know, hey, you know I'm crazy than crazy glue. Crazy than crazy. Glue. Oh, okay. that, 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 that's what that, 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 that shit was hot though. I mean, I mean, I, I find it real funny that Eden S was complaining about the boo and then he's from Philly. Didn't Philly create the boo? Like, <laughs> they booed Santa Claus. Like, what are you complaining about? Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, I want to shout out my Twitter. My Twitter account, uh, Jason L. Justin. You know, y'all hit me up on it. I'm already following Chilla and North anyway. And Jessica right, Rico. Kevin. No doubt. All right. Let's All right. Next <laughs> Let's go, uh, Chilla, you, Chilla, you know, you know, Tom, you know, uh, Tom Brady's the third best quarterback in the NFL, right? Just so what? Throw that out there. Tom Brady's the third best quarterback in the NFL. Now, I just want to throw that out there. Four oh seven, you there? Yo, 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yo, man. I just want to make this real quick, man. I mean, I don't want to take up too much time. Yo, Chilla Jones, man. I'll say from jump, man. I've been fucking with you since I first heard of you, my nigga. Like, yeah, I want to say, man, like, really, man, when I first heard you, man, I'm like, yo, I ain't hear lyrics, lyricism like this. Every once in a while, there's a nigga that changed the game lyrically. Like when Cash first came out with his punchlines, you know what I'm saying, Lloyd Banks, you know what I'm saying, Jar Ryder, Ryder's Block. But lyrically, my nigga, like, you use a breath of fresh air, man, because with this battle shit now, it's more than just, it's more than just lyrics now, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I feel like, I feel like you would never get your full, that's why, like, a lot of your battles, is the, like, I don't even think that shit is debatable with you and JC and M City, because now you got to deal with personalities and all these fucking, you know what I mean? These, 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 these I don't know, like the, the the body, like I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like it's more than just lyrics now. You know what I'm saying? It's right. a lot of fucking right. going on. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, like I don't know how you come up with these schemes and how you even think of this shit, be, but. Cause like you can look me up, my nigga, like on YouTube, JB Seven One Eight, man. Like you can look at my history in my comments, man. I'm like, yo, nobody lyrically is fucking with this nigga Chilla Jones, man. Like I was bugging when I first heard you, my nigga. But I feel like you would never get your, you reach your full potential, cause like I don't feel like you would ever get angry at a nigga to throw personals and shit like that. What you think? Mm. Um, it would really like, like honestly, like. The, the battle rap shit is, is competition, but I I really would never really get mad at another battler unless they were for for whatever reason fucking up my bread. That that would be a motivation for me to to get in the ring and not wanna you, you know what I'm saying like like really really you know kind of lash out at somebody. But otherwise, man, like, this is like a sport. This is like going to the court with your basketball, try to see who's nicest on the court. That's how I see it. You know what I'm saying? It's a game. So when, you, so when I lock into a battle, it's never nothing personal. It's never nothing, you know what I'm saying, never no street shit. We, we going to see who can embarrass each other worse. We going to see who's better, better with these balls. You know what I'm saying? So, like... I, I I really can't see myself getting mad. Like you can even look at like how I act on Twitter. Like I'm a humble ass dude. I'm a regular ass dude. You hit me up, come at me sideways. You want to argue? I'm gonna retweet you and keep it moving. Cause that's just how I am. Like that's just how I roll. Like you can be as dis disrespectful and, and angry, and it'll be a fucking shame that you got time to do all that while I'm I'm working a job, writing a page feature, and setting up a car for my battle league. I don't have time to argue with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I be looking at it when people try to argue with me. So, it is what it is, man. Maybe a situation will come along and somebody will piss me off and I have to, I have to turn yeah, so, up a little bit, like Verb said. <laughs> yeah, because really, that's, that's the only thing I'm really worried about with you, man. Because, like, you don't really have, like, a lot of gimmicks, you know what I'm saying? Like, try to overly control, control the crowd. And that's what I like, Hitman Holler. Like, he's not, like, the nicest lyrically. He got a little quotables, because, you know what I'm saying, he got a lot of stage performance, you know what I'm saying? And you just real so calm and smooth, like, right. you know what I'm saying? So, like, it's going to, like, you're not going to get the full respect. You're going you're gonna to get the bullshit results, like, oh, he lost, he won 2-1, won, he ain't 3 on. Because a lot of niggas you battling in the battle right now is just a lot of gimmicks, you know what I'm saying? Stage performance, right. and I, that's why they like, straight mics. Like, I'm, I'm from the old era, you know what I mean, with straight lyrics, bar for bar. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the I'm from the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? So that's why to hear you is such a breath for fresh air. You know what I mean? But yeah, long story yeah. short, man, y'all niggas keep doing y'all thing, chiller, man. I've been fuck with you from jump, man. Real talk, my nigga. Niggas can't fuck with you, son. And I'm not even just saying this because I'm on the line. You can check my, my history comments on YouTube, man. When I first heard it, I said that from jump, man. Chiller Jones was right fucking with lyrically. Right, so I appreciate hey, that, hey, my G-Rod. Man, thanks for the support, B. Hey, Chilla, hey, nah, I, I, I just sent you a text message real quick. Can you read that real quick? And not, not read it out loud, but just, just check yeah. it out real quick. Let's yeah. get to the next caller. All right. Um, 716, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's poppin', Psycho? What's poppin', Norm? What's poppin', Chilla? This is Mark Twitter. What's good? 
Oh, I was vibing. Um, real quick, uh, Norv, uh, before I forget, um, I heard you say y'all gonna be like going around, like going around, like kind of like on a tour type thing. Is that um, mm -hmm. is that in the near, like near future? That's kind of like down the line. And when you mean I tour, mean, like, I, I mean, uh, hopefully it's it, it's it's the near near future. Like, uh, you know, we're always trying to um, get out as much as possible, and and and, and at the rate we're growing. So the need for what we're doing is is, is, is the demand actually for what we're doing is is is, is crazy right now. So right, that's what, you know. I think I think just, that would be dope. Kind of like you know, what I'm saying put put it out there to go to different cities. Kind of like how BET had the college tour type thing. I mean, I don't know how you would do it, but something along you know something along those lines. Just a, oh no, definitely, definitely. I mean, like I said, we would have to figure it out. I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm still developing new new people on the roster. Um, I'm also looking for new talent, so we, we have to have a, a, a bigger roster as well. Gotcha. And, um, you know, it's just it's just the process, my man. Like, Absolutely. it's not easy to find a Chilla Jones. <laughs> I mean, a yeah, that, K, that was a uh, Will, a J C. You know. Yeah, I, I feel you on that. Um, I about the battle. Um, at, at, I want to say top, top two. I, I gotta rewatch the Surf Big T battle because I think that I got that one as the number one right now. But the JC and uh, Chilla, y'all showed y'all ass on that on that battle. That was dope, and I think that uh, yeah. Chilla, with you being so lyrical, I think like every it just seems like the battle is changing now, where lyrics is becoming more important. Kind of how you know with Luck with Lux going off and Mav Hoffa coming back, bringing bars. It seems like bars is becoming more relevant than. It was in the past where more so delivery and performance was getting getting more people by. And I think that's great, you know what I'm saying, making people think. So my one thing would be, um, you know what I'm saying, never you know what I'm saying, don't dumb it down. Uh, keep 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 the ability that you got up top. You know, never try to dumb it down. You know, some people may not get it, you know what I'm saying, don't dumb it down because they don't get it. I think that's um that would be crazy. Um I only round I can say I can clearly call I think round one, I gave you round one. I think your round one was um better than his round run. The other two I can't I can't call at the moment. I done watched the battle three times. Um I think the my favorite scheme out of that battle was the car one. With the with the axle, how you slid that in there. That was dope. Yeah, that was good. That's pretty that, that that word that's a pretty like when you did I'm like, oh that's ridiculous. It's you know, it's other easier things on the car to break down, but when you slid the axle in there I said, okay, yeah, that's 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 Jai Fire. But I did have one question. I could be slow. I didn't catch the. I watched it three times, and I couldn't catch the Sarah funeral part. I didn't get it. So if you could just um, explain that, was, we actually lost Chilla. It's going to drop. All right. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna hang up. Call me right back, and I'm gonna get Chilla. On. Okay. All right. Yeah, but um. Even if you could break that, I couldn't. I couldn't get that fairer part. Oh, he was breaking down all the queen in the ring, right? You no know, female MC. I got and that. He said, but you, I, he, he said you a fair. He, he was saying, I think he was trying to say you a fair funeral. <laughs> you a fair like fair like he was doing like a play on words. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm sitting. I was trying to catch. it. I'm like, yeah, that's the only part I did. That's the only part I didn't catch. But you know, he was he 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 was shitting on that. That battle was uh, that battle was dope. Uh, you always keep it a hundred. My question to you, uh, my question to you, Psycho, would be in the round three, with that round being so close, and that's probably that's probably be the round to decide the battle. JC did snap, but he kind of stumbled. He didn't choke. It's not a choke, but he stumbled on his words. Because something like mm -hmm. that, you think, cost him that round when it's so close? Would you look at something like that as a defining factor? How Chilla was straight through, he didn't mumble over the words, and J.C. kind of fumbled door. He caught it real quick, but nevertheless, he mm -hmm. did stumble. Uh, I don't really tell why I see too much for a little slight, slight slip. Okay. As long as they don't just outright just choke and forget these bars, I really mm -hmm. don't. Like, slips and chokes are two different things. Right, I don't really right. kill an MC over a little small slip up. Uh, he's probably just thinking too fast. Right. And so I, I don't really kill him too much over that. So you wouldn't take that as okay. He kind of like uh, if you had to do a ten nine, so the kind of would get a ten for the act for the, mm. nine, for the nine slip up. Cause that battle's close. Only if I was nitpicking. Only if I was nitpicking. Okay. 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 Oh, that first caller that called in, he was on point too. Uh, Luck should get that trademark because Drake definitely used it in the verse. 
<laughs> he definitely said, uh, what do you say? If you pay me to put me on a verse, you're going to get this work. Uh, he definitely put it on. So everybody is using his shit. So I hope he got that trademark. Because if not, he's going to be losing out on some bread. Because everybody's using that. When I heard that, I said, damn, yo, Luxton. He just turned up from Jay-Z tweeting it to Drake putting it in his lyrics. So next, all you waiting on is either Obama or Biden or somebody to say you going to get this work in one of these debates, man. It's, 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 it's definitely taking off. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I have for the, for the most part. Uh, Chiller got off the phone, so he couldn't kind of answer the question, but it's all gravy. You can't all right, I'm about to take another call. All right, 407, you there? Yo, yeah, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yo, I just, I just wanted to say, like, it's crazy how they're bringing back these bars like this. You know what I mean? It's like a supply and demand type thing, like... The URL, as soon as they feel like something's getting stale or these rappers are getting corny, it's like the MCs on their own kind of find a way to, like, diversify their styles. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, I mean, uh, I, always get, I always like the PGs because, you know, the PG guys are, are hungry and they're coming in swinging. You know, they're not, you know, like sometimes the top tier guys, in my personal opinion, lose their fire. And you know they they need to get they need to get a charge or, in them or something like I don't know. Yeah, these guys these, are just more hungry. Ones, think, man. Like JC's hungry, Chiller's hungry. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. And um, uh, yo, like seeing Murder Mook in the background when when JC's going to to outer space and Chiller's you know up there with him. It's like kind of you know like let him hear it. You know what I mean? Like let him know what. You know, but he, you know, it's still happening. Dudes are still hungry. You feel me? Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah I totally man. agree. Yeah, man. Yo, keep doing your thing, man. All right, that's what's up. Thanks for the call. All right, let's go. Uh, Three oh five. You there? Yo. Yeah, what's good? <laughs> what's happening, man? What a boy, chill out, nah. man. All right, well, hold on one second. We tried to get him. I'll be right back. Hold on. Yeah, yeah we live. Yeah, my phone said, I apologize. It says, I got Chilla Jones back on the line, and he has JC with him. Can you please bring him on? Um, He's, he's on line right now? Yes, he's on the line. All right. Give me one second. I'm going to try to find him. Uh, okay. Chilla, you there? Yo. Okay. You got JC on. Y'all hear me? Yeah, we hear you. You got JC on. Cool, yeah, yeah, JC here. Yeah. JC, say what up? Yo, yo, all you niggas nutty. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no JC, we, we, uh, we got Chilla's uh, opinion on the battle. And, you know, he said he clearly beat you 3 0. Um, he said you died. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. I mean, what's your opinion on the battle? You're getting a lot of love out there. JC, talk to me. What's up? That battle, let me be honest, because uh, if, if anybody was following my Twitter, I never retweeted a body bag tweet. Like, that's not even that's not even realistic. I don't you don't count wins and losses in battles like that. It was um, mm -hmm. um sure. that battle was like three three. Mm -hmm. I won all three rounds. Chiller won all three. Rounds. Like, that was the best, like, I don't know. I haven't even, myself, like, when I watch my battles, I don't even watch the nigga I'm battling. I always fast forward his shit. Because don't nobody that I battle really wow me that much. But I, this battle, I've watched all the way through every time I watched it. Like, it's, I don't know. And it's, and it's funny that we battling in front of the, you know, legends who some of them came back and put some of the, you know, worst performances ever. And we had the best performance ever. It's kind of, it's, it's a lot of irony in that, but I don't, yeah, I don't retweet no body bag tweets or nothing like that. That's not even realistic. Like, you tell me I won, you tell me I lost, you know what I mean? That's cool, but don't don't tweet me no body bag, boy. So you just begging for a retweet. You keep it real, you know. And the problem, this is a, this is another problem niggas didn't follow. They watched that battle. The entire atmosphere was dope. 
Niggas was laughing, niggas was joking. It wasn't no personals or niggas trying to get all up in other niggas' spaces and niggas having to punch them and you got my entourage back here ready to fight chores and all this other dumb mm-hmm. shit. Just like I said, you when you got to convince a real nigga that you a real nigga, just be real, nigga. Like, everybody feel like real nigga is a certain person or is an image. It's just you. It's whoever, whoever the fuck you is. And we walked into that battle and we did us all bars. And created the best mother, the best battle that's been uploaded on that website. So you, you feel like this the best battle of the year? Hey, hey. No, that's definitely the battle. That's bad. That's the battle of the year. I think it's the battle of the year. Easy. Like I got we. I mean, I got some. Uh, the Mook and Lux of our time and. You know what I mean? Like I like I like shit like that because that was that was the first battles I was watching. So if I feel like we no. can, you know, no, no, I just that's, see, that's I asked Shiloh's question earlier. I said, okay, I asked him basically, do you feel like you outperformed the 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 just the group of uh, the legends that weekend? By far, mm-hmm. by far, like. It's not just a. It's not just a hundred. Like okay, first of all, you need you need as a writer, every writer creates his best work on inspiration. Now me, nobody. People was talking about Chiller like they was talking about me when I first got here, and all of a sudden I became the underdog and my back was against the wall. And I'm like, oh shit! So now he coming to take my head off because he want to live up to his hype. Now I got to take my. I got to take his head off because. I'm feeling like he trying to steal my hype. Like it's it's uh, the whole sport is in this in this battle. This is not no. I'm finna come back for 10k and put on this performance because I know I'm gonna get the I know I'm gonna get the money no matter what. So I can do whatever the fuck I want to on the stage and throw water and call everybody nutty. Fuck all that. These, these motherfuckers want to they want to see me come they want to see me come and put on a, a performance. Then I got all these tweets. And all these questions like, why are you doing a battle on a PG event? You should be on the summer mat. Well, well, I don't, I don't want to. Now, nah, nah, I don't even care about it. Now, nah, I don't even care about it. And I can't even. I was salty about not being on that stage. I'm like, damn, I need to be here. I was there last year. Like, I need to be on this stage next year. Next year came. I wasn't on the stage. I was salty. But I was told a whole. I was told a lot. Like, you don't need these top tier names. You gonna build your own name and. Blah blah blah, and now and I'll look at it. I'm alright with that. I, I can't that was lie. Me, I'm okay with that. That was me. That, that was definitely me. You know, I say. But now, with that extra motivation to to outshine the legends, because the weekend was really about a lot of people say it was about the legends. Everybody's excited. Do um, you feel like you were flying under the radar, and you wanted to kind of steal all that shine? Well, um, for me. I, I wanted to like it wasn't about stealing nobody's shine for me. It was not living in no shadow. Like me, I didn't want to leave some of that in this two weekend, and then they say, "Yeah, these niggas did their thing." Oh yeah, and they see and Chiller went good, went crazy too. Nah, we ain't we ain't doing it like that. You know what I mean? We we are our own battle. I don't care what event it is. We are like I am my own person, and every time I tell I tell niggas when I when I finish writing my shit, my half of the battle is done. So if you want this shit to be a classic, you got to do your part. And I went in, I got in the ring with a nigga that was prepared to do his part. So it wasn't about stealing nobody's shine, but it wasn't it, it wasn't finna be no. I'm not finna be on a car with nobody and not get no recognition at all. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck who it is. It could be Beat Mills versus Eminem on the next battle, on the next car, and I could be the very first battle to start that bitch off. They're going to talk about me when that shit is over. So I don't care who on that car or who on the next day. I don't care. Loader Lex could battle himself next time. I'm still, somebody going to still say something about me. And I will, I will make sure every time, and you got to sit down as a writer and you got to look at all the, all the factors that's coming into this battle. All right, well, you were up and coming, nigga, and you got the niggas that you was watching when you was when you started or before you started battling the very next day. How can you maintain your name and keep your shit going and keep everybody eyes on you? You know what I mean? Oh, well, perform, niggas, do what they came to see me do. It's as simple as that. 
So that's that's no. just all I do. It ain't I mean, I don't care about stealing shine, but you ain't finna steal mine. No, I feel, now, now I asked Chilla earlier. I was like, Chilla, from a fan's perspective, since you enjoy watching this battle, what was your favorite moments of the battle on both sides, on Chilla's side and on your side? What were you most um, about? My favorite, of course, my favorite on mine was when I when I you know did the imitation. Um, but no lie, my favorite part of the uh, the whole battle was Poison Pen. Okay. I have never seen a nigga react to bars like that, nigga. Like, I think he actually, he put an eat mess. Like, the nigga, nigga poured water on me a little bit. Like, he threw his water bottle down, and I'm like, oh, my arm. Like, oh, shit. Like, he was going crazy. Like, he had me cracking up back there. Like, he, he was the funniest, funniest person ever. But as far as bars go, Chilla, um, the instrument scheme, dope as hell. And when he flipped my name in reverse. That was like I was telling I was telling everybody like when a nigga set up a scheme by the by by two or three bars I can I can predict the end of the scheme like I know where it's going and he had a lot of shit that caught me by surprise so that's that you you got to take your hat off to that shit with me you got my brain my wheels is constantly turning I'm hearing you rap niggas be like oh they see when you rapping do you listen I act like I'm not listening but who's really not listening. You know what I mean? Like you want to see what the nigga came with. So I'm listening, and and he 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 throwing a lot of shit at me that I wasn't really ready for. I'm like, oh shit! Like the accordion shit, and um, hit his organs and get violent. Like that was crazy. I'm like, okay. And then the um, the nail UJ, like that was that shit set it off to me. And you know, I can't. I don't want to quote my own bars because my ass would be like, yo, the whole fucking three rounds. But you know, it is what it is. <laughs> No, no. You said you said poison pen's reactions. Now everybody's making a, a big deal out of Jazz the rapper's reactions. Did you know? That yeah, yo, she like, was breaking. She is the like in in um. If there was like a battle rap dictionary, and it was like the sour face, her picture would be like right there. Like I was explaining to to somebody, I'm like, yo, when you hear a dope line. You make you are inclined to make the ugliest fucking face you've ever made in your life. Like you have to do it. Like if you watch the Lions Den battles, when, the only person that does not give a reaction is Smack. Like Smack looks like he watches the battles with earplugs on. But you got like everybody else. They like they listen to the battles, and if you're not screaming and going crazy, you're making the sour face. And Jazz, like it was hilarious. Like they put the picture up with the four pictures, and she was just looking like. She was hearing the most disrespectful shit ever. Like, you could promote that battle with just her face alone. Like, look how crazy this battle got. Look at Jack. I'd be like, oh, I got to see that. She must have heard some shit. And it's crazy. If you put the battle on mute, you know what lines were so crazy just from her facial expression. Yeah, it was hilarious. Like, she was, like, somebody kept farting and she just kept smelling it. Like, who the fuck is farting like that? Like, I can't stand this smell. I and mean, I know I know the fans got crazy questions for you. Let's get over to the callers. Let's do it. Uh, three four seven, you there? Yeah, what's good, fellas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, uh, I can't really judge that battle. That battle is definitely a classic, top two all time. And yo, know, I just have to say, y'all, y'all keep on doing what y'all doing, man. I don't have really nothing that much to say. I'm at work, so I can't really speak that much. But just shouting out y'all, fellas. Keep on doing your thing. All right. Salute to you, bro. Salute. All right, man. Thanks for the call. Let's do uh, three one four. Our people are like illegal. I mean, staying here. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hello. <laughs> three one four. You there? Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Oh, what's good, Chilla? What's up, JC? Um, yo, that was a fucking classic. That that was that was a fucking classic. I can't even pick a winner. I don't even try to pick Please a winner. Play, man. And on on some real shit, I'm glad y'all two came out and did what y'all did. You know what I'm saying? Because like, the game has been strained for a little bit. A lot of these cats have been getting by like with with like I don't know. I guess drama or like the cheat code, which is looking up somebody's past history or whatnot. And what y'all two did. Y'all got in the ring and said, you know what? There's no drama. Y'all wasn't even arguing like, you know, Hitman and Verb did before the battle. 
Y'all had everybody all eyes on y'all because of the bars that y'all was spit. And that's exactly what the game mean now. Like, on some real shit, I, com I commend y'all. Hats off to y'all. Because that, that right I there, like, that, man. Awesome shit. I only watched the battle three times. And I say only. Because I had right, right. to do that. You know what I'm saying? But on, on some real shit, that's, that's, that's exactly what the game need. And like I said, I don't even try to pick them when I watch it just because of the ball. I'm like, yo, finally, thank you. And it's crazy. Like, too, honestly, y'all mm -hmm. have fans win that shit, though, because, I mean, out of every battle that dropped, it's either been lopsided or it's been two sloppy performances. Like, y'all need, you know, as a fan, y'all needed some shit like that to where it went back and forth. And y'all, that you don't even have to pick a winner on that. You know what I mean? Ex exactly. Y like exactly. Y it was 3-3. It was three, three. Yeah, the there other, you go. Paul that called in before said the best. It was 3-3. Three, three. Nobody lost a round, but both of y'all won every round. Like, on some shit. Like, yeah. fuck, fuck what, like, y'all are my top niggas. That, that's what it is. Like, fuck all the so-called top. Yeah. Like, y'all, y'all, y'all two danger zone, you know, red, y'all are my top. These so, these so-called top tier dudes, they just lost their hunger. It took a couple brothers yeah. like, y'all, y'all are changing the game right now, believe it or not. Watch how all these other battles are going to come out. They ain't going to have no choice, man, or, or, or niggas ain't going to have that spot. Like, I told, I told her. I said I'm cocky because it ain't enough niggas to stop me. Like you can, the top, like the the top spot is is just it's just there. Like you know what I mean? It's it's right. it's, it's a million niggas. It's a million niggas claiming the top spot. It's a nigga, It's a lot of niggas feel like they in it and it don't need to be said. And niggas creating right. all this madness before a battle. And I dig selling your battle. You know what I mean? I dig it. Uh. You gonna you gonna do that shit? But when you get out there. You know what I mean? You got to live up to all that shit. Me and Chilla lived right. up to hype, but we didn't even stir up. This was fan right. made. This was That's because crazy. motherfuckers get into battles, and they show off every time. So now when they get in the ring with each other, it's highly anticipated because y'all done seen what they did. Not what I done say to this nigga on Twitter. Like, oh, yeah, you a bitch, and we dead. Nah, we get in that ring, and we do what we do. We get out that ring, and we, and we, and we pop a bottle to the shit that just happened because we already exactly. know what the, what the fans want to see. Exactly. Right. That battle is exactly what um what 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 what, what was needed, like for real, yeah. for real. Absolutely. Norris, I need thirty k for that next battle, man. Huh? <laughs> I'm Norris, I need thirty k for that next battle. Oh, for real, for real. Tell me, tell me. Look on that. Yeah, man. I appreciate the twenty five to y'all. That's some real shit. Big DC, I got a special guest. She's known for her faces. All right, brother. <laughs> Jazz the Rapper, welcome <laughs> to the Battle Rap Arena. Where my Jazz. sister at? What's up? What's up? Jazz, we... we yeah, we, we you famous. You more, you more famous than us. Huh? Everybody's talking about you. more famous than us. <laughs> Tell us what was going through your mind in the JC versus Chilla Jones battle. What you got? To oh, I mean, <laughs> I mean... I can speak louder than words. Like, I yeah, definitely. Back for me. <laughs> I mean, I, like, <laughs> whatever, whatever you come out to me do, I'm sure you can put words to that. But, um, I just tuned in. Um, like the person said, you know, I didn't even call a win on that battle. Like, they, it was three three. Like, nobody lost around. Um, AC went first, so I'm like, oh, this one he went. I'm like, damn, feel about to die. Feel about went in. This is JC where I'm like, damn, Chill about to die. And then Chill went in, so it was like, I like both of them went in. Um, I feel like I gave their reactions to both. Um, each of them had their special moments, and yeah, like that's definitely what it is. That's, I, that that is great. I watched it again today, and I caught a lot of stuff I didn't catch before. I even caught stuff that I got here. I mean, that I didn't get here, but I got there. It was weird, but um. Yeah, it, it was a dope battle. I really enjoyed it. I, mean, I, I just seen your avatar, and, and, and they had little descriptions <laughs> of what you were thinking <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> I mean, the last one made me laugh because I think it said that um, you mentioned about something about you and JC, and it said, this guy's nutty. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> well, it was, it was two different people. I mean... The person I made my Abby, so I asked him, um, he made it. Well, a girl made the pictures, and then he just added the words, but, you know, the first one was like, mm, that was fire. 
And the second one was like, oh, I see what he did. And the third one was like, I know this nigga ain't just mentioned me. And the fourth one was like, um, oh, this nigga kill about to get this work. He's nutty. <laughs> 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 and somebody else made a whole story, like, they made a whole storyline of, of when, um, Killer said that line or whatever. It was, it was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, yeah. like, I'm about to, I, I tweeted, I'm about to start charging for my reactions. If you want me in plain view during your battle, it's $10 for a head nod, $20 for a stink face, and $40 if you want, like, a sound and a reaction. I got it. That's yeah, cool. Jazz, Jazz gonna get paid more to, to react than motherfuckers get paid to host. Yeah. <laughs> she don't even got a host. She I, can stand I, next to the host and just make the face. Yeah, okay. I, I asked JC and I asked Chilla the same question. I was like, what was your favorite parts of the battle on both sides? What was your favorite sequences? What was your favorite bar? Oh, um, that's easy. JC line, when he said that bitch kicked back like he's chilling with him, that line is now my top punch line, period. Like, top three, period. Like, that and um, Chilla Jones, let me think. I didn't really think of what was my best thing from him. Um, I kind of, I kind of just caught the, uh, the whole dirty scheme, and he was like, the filthy rich, and that's for a stack, with imagine what a mill do, I like that line, too. Yeah, that was but, sick, um, that was sick. Yeah, it was so much, it was so much that was said by Chilla that the best, the best round by from Chilla was probably the third, he said a lot in that third, um, the whole Queen of the Rings scheme he had was pretty dope. Yo, shout out to Chill Jones. He said jazz three times in that battle. <laughs> Did I? Shout out to Chill Jones. Yeah, he was in the line, by the way. I think Chill Jones put on the line. Huh? I said Chill was on the line, so. Oh. Oh, hey. Yeah, man. I'm here. Oh, man. Well, it's good. Yo, you gotta, yo, you gotta clear the air, man. Total night. That was, that's a lie, what you said. Please. <laughs> okay, so 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 J- Jazz and JC are not dating. Boom, Thank bitches. You. They are not dating. We, that's my sister. sister. Like, how do y'all hear that? That's my sister. And the moment you hear we dating in a battle, y'all TMZ the fuck out. He was telling him that he tell him that he did it just because it fit the whole religious thing with the Virgin Mary. Like, oh no, yeah, I get why he did it, but the fans go crazy when they hear something like, "Oh, you dating Jazz? I thought y'all was related." This one I thought I was chilling. This one I thought I was good. My name wasn't gonna be said no more. And then this started up, and it's crazy. Like, what? Wow. I mean, I mean, Jazz. If you had to pick a winner, who would you pick? Um, throw her under the bus, no? I, got, I won because I got mad followers on Facebook. <laughs> 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 Yo, nah, for real though, like, I really can't. I, like, I feel like I watched it when it came out last night. I didn't even watch it to pick one. I forgot that I had to choose one. That's the crazy part. Then people were tweeting me like, the only thing one. And I'm like, honestly, I didn't even think about it. And then I watched it again today whatever, and I still couldn't pick a winner. I just know J.C. third round was crazy. Like, like it was just crazy. But other than that, I can't call it, like, with the other two rounds. Like, till third round was crazy, too. But the first two rounds, like, like I said, when J.C. went, you know, he went crazy. And then Chilla came right back. So it, it's hard to call. That's probably one of the very few battles that I, I probably won't do the winner for a while. Okay, I got another question. I asked them the same question. Do you think they outperformed the people that's from the Niners? <clears throat> the other oh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, we did we do a show after the Niners, and, like, Tilly and JC was probably the best battle that weekend. Yeah, that's definitely the best back and forth battle. The most evenly matched battle, like JC said. Some battles you lost at it, and that it wasn't. That one wasn't. Both of them got their own style, but both of them is dope. Like, for real. They need one to start writing. Oh shit, females. Y'all hear that? You should be <laughs> writing, Jazz. You should have been writing. <laughs> I was, I'm just saying. But let, let, let's go back to the fans' question. I know they got a bunch of questions. Let's get to that. 
Jeff, how much are you charging again for your facial expressions? Yo, you stupid. I said ten dollars for a head nod, twenty dollars <laughs> for a stink eight, and forty dollars if you want a face and sound. Like I'm like <laughs> that was fire. Like, you know, I got the same things I could say to you. But how you much know, for like the whole here. what's the whole hosting oh. package? Yeah, somebody just asked me, um, I, I, I'll say $100 for 10 reactions. I'll mix it up for you. <laughs> you know, she, you know, you actually really going to get people to pay you. Hello? <laughs> yeah, 908, you there? Hello? You ain't chillin' get 10% of that shit. Yeah. Y'all can hear me? 908? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's going on, y'all? It's, uh, it's YT. It's not, bro. Chillin', man. That's YT from Elizabeth. I am the real YT on Twitter. Um, who all on the phone? It's Jazz, Chilla, JC, Noah, Psycho. That's it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, shout out to everybody then. Um, first of all... You got to shout out Jesse's mother. You shout out Jesse's mother before you talk. Oh, yeah, my bad. I forgot. I, I, I was tripping. Shout out Jesse's mom. You already know. <laughs> mom. Um, <laughs> Can't wait to see me her um, at one of the events. You know, she's the rain car girl, whatever. But anyway, uh, what up, Chilla? What up, JC? <laughs> What's up, Chilla? <laughs> we had a crazy bro? battle, man. Appreciate I just got that. done watching that shit, man. For like the 10th time already. But I watched it by myself, and I put all my homies on that shit. They all going crazy. They can't call the winner neither. Like, that's good. That's, all, that's a classic. You throw they throw the title classic on every battle that come out on every league and every planet. Classic is every battle that come out. It, it, you can't sell a battle with the word classic no more. Fans got to make it. Yeah. You know, as far as mm-hmm. you know, like some, you know, it's, it's like almost every battle, one person got like you know, like a part where they just be slacking a little bit. Yeah, it seemed like on this battle, like everything that I spit was like, like why. Wow. I gotta get take my hat off for that. I, I'm I'm hard on the battles too. Like they tell you, I always call in. I keep it. I keep it funky. Yeah, but, appreciate um, that, bro. Hey, yeah, you know it's real though, cause I, my girl don't even smoke. Last night I was watching the battle and shit. She was like, "Damn, you heard what he said? Let me hit that blunt." I was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, I ain't gonna lie though. She she she. Uh, she Hey, yeah, you know, she did that over uh, one of the chiller, one of the chiller bars. That um, that glove and the fresh print shit. She was like, "Oh, uh, chiller, you know, got somebody oh, on drugs, chiller." Hey, you know, <laughs> she was like, "Damn, he disrespected him." I was like, "Yeah, they both going there, though." But shit, yeah, that's all hey, I wanted to say. Chiller, bad man. influence out here. Chiller, bad influence out here. <laughs> hey yo man, Sh- shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to uh, Jazz, Jazz the rapper too for the faces. And uh, just want to shout out my brother, <laughs> my son. You know what I mean? Eastwick, 908. Right. Follow me on Twitter. I am the real YT. I'll follow you back. You already know. Right, yeah, so man, you know, you know right. what's crazy, Psycho? We had to bring Jazz on because she's actually now a part of this battle because of her facial expression. She, <laughs> so, 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 so Jones and JC Tree of the Classic. It's it, 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 it. No, no, no. I didn't do anything. Man, I... You know what's crazy? I was so bad that I didn't even get the fresh prank line, and y'all caught me. I'm mad that that got caught on camera. <laughs> yeah, I know. But what the hell? <laughs> fresh print? Like, you didn't get that? I looked, I, I saw Chiller look over at you, and he did the glove thing, and, and you was like, oh, I'm like, what? You didn't get that? <laughs> <laughs> then you tried to hide your face, and you like right there, you like, shh. I'm like, oh my good! The whole crowd just saw him explain that line to you. It was so fast that he knew to go straight to you to explain that line. Like he instantly did it after he said that line. I'm like, how the hell did he know he wasn't gonna get that? No, That's because sad. I, I think I said I don't get it, and I think he heard me say that. Yeah, you did say that. Nine oh three, you did. Yeah, can y'all hear me? Yeah, we. Hey, uh, I just want to give a shout out to that uh, unbiased review, man. Straight up, we've been 
talking up a storm on that battle, man. Congratulations to both of y'all, straight up. Yeah, shout out to y'all. I peeped that out, too. Shout out to y'all. Salute, yo. And we, and, and we, and we talking a lot of shit, too, so, you know, don't think that we y'all, you know, it's going to be back and forth all day. That's just how we get You know, every, everybody's a diehard fan about somebody, you dig? But uh, straight yeah, up, yeah, I, yeah. I, straight up, I don't know what Jesse's at. I guess he's getting breastfed right now by his mama, huh? Is that what it is? <laughs> hey, okay, it's all good. Hey, straight up though. Uh, real question though. You know, Verdon came out and uh, said something about this free battle shit. I think it's a very marketing kind of smart move. I guess him and Dash been fucking around. You know what I'm saying? So, what do y'all think about that? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Scripps even kind of commented on my post that he, he would get down with that. But what do y'all think? You know, I just kind of get your idea on that. Uh, I'm sorry to hear what he said. What he said? He was talking about the bird blow. Uh, what did Verb say? What did Verb say? All right, you know Verb. You know I know Verb and kind of you know and I, I'm a big you know Verb fan, but it seemed like lately you know my boy ain't been you know on his A game in these battles, but he always finds a way to stay relevant. You dig? So you know he kind of yeah. came out with the notion of hey. We all should owe the top tier or the so-called top tier niggas should owe Smack a free battle and battle an up and comer. And I thought that was genius. He did that for many of things. I don't even want to explain that shit, but I really thought you know it keeps his name relevant and especially it humbles himself because now he may have to you know battle a JC or a Chiller or hell even a Jazz. He may need to battle a Jazz. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> so at the end of the day, you know what do y'all think about that? Because I feel like a lot of times the battlers, I know sometimes Verb don't be on his A game sometimes in the battles per se, but he always finds a way to stay in there. And, you know, a lot of battles, they lose one thing, the same man, thing. One thing, because Verb, Verb is smart. Verb is very, 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 very smart. He, like, every battle that came out, he dropped the blog at least a day later and commented mm -hmm. on it, and 90% of the time it was all true shit. The crazy thing is the battle and shit, to me, it's two lanes you can take on it. You can be that nigga that let the bar speak for itself, or you can be that nigga that has no bars and talks so much shit that <laughs> motherfuckers want to see you just to see you lose. Verb is both of them. Like, Verb can get in that ring and go crazy and talk that shit you know, right before you get in the ring, that'll make you want to see him in the ring. Now, with but Verb, J -J you know, but, but, but be real, JC. Lately, Verb been tripping though on the on the on the. No, battle. yeah, I agree I, with I, you. Okay, okay, okay. I agree, but since he since he got that other lane covered, he can talk himself right back in the mix. Like, you know, what I mean, he'll go out there and everybody gets on Twitter and say, "Yo, Verb just got killed by T Rex," and then Verb does four, maybe five blogs addressing it. And number one, everybody watches a bird blog. I don't go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's like, even, even, if like the the even if you don't like the nigga, even if you don't like the nigga, you gotta watch this shit. You're right. Why? Right. I know. Right. I know. T Rex fans watch the blog, and like the shit that the nigga was saying is, is you know, you if it don't make sense or it's not true, you gotta see the battle now. You like, oh shit. Nah, I just wanna. Man, I, I didn't care about Rex or Verb, but I got all these motherfuckers saying T Rex won ten snacks by beating Verb. Verb said, "Hold up, I just had to push Rex because he was too close to me. It was unfair." Da -da -da. And I guarantee that the shit don't look the same. And now everybody got to watch it. Now everybody got to watch the shit. So Verb knows how to keep himself in the mix. Like he is very, very smart at that. It, it could be every fan in URL history that think he had the worst battle. And be like, I'm done with Verb. Let's go watch somebody else. And that nigga will talk you into coming right back to where you was at. Really? Verb can throw water to a well. That's definitely that's definitely true. But the one thing I do know about Verb, he, like you said, he's very intelligent and he knows the trend. And a lot of the new guys are trending heavy right now. I mean, you got JC, you got John John, you got Chilla, you got B Magic. Like this is the new wave, and sometimes. You know, you got to get with it or, or move move to the side. And at the end of the day, who else are they ever going to battle? Right, right, right. Yeah, eventually. And, 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 it, and it just makes a lot of sense. You know, everybody wants to see that. It might be a bigger battle than a lot of his other battles, previous battles. So, 
at the end of the day, I think Averb is a marketing genius. To be honest, yeah, man, he's he's he, yeah, he knows how to deflect negative negative attention to him. He knows how to turn it into positive attention. He's the only guy that could get beat seven hole and still win a battle. Like it's the matter. Averb yeah. was amazing. That's what I said. As soon as the fans want to feel like they do with him, he talk your ass into coming right back over there, like. Why are you leaving me? I'm Captain Marketable. And they'd be like, you know what, you're right. And just turn right back around and go right back over there. Like, the oh, man is the smart. Like, it's right. two lanes. To me, it's two lanes. You got niggas like Tech 9. The nigga is like, come on, now, seriously. But the nigga talks. Like, he'll, he'll talk your ass into watching them. You, you know what I mean? It's niggas that's like that. Like, it's two, it's two separate lanes you could take. Me, I'm not, I'm not really big on talking shit. Like, if I got to battle you and... You want to hop on my Twitter and, you know, all this goofy shit. I'm, I might tweet you and say some shit like walk away or you ugly and, you're, you you know, you look like Jeffrey from Fresh Prince. I might say some goofy shit like that to somebody, but at the end of the day, I'm just not good at that shit. Like, I can't really talk no shit. I get in that ring and we do what we do and I leave that motherfucker and y'all talk all the extra shit for me. That's why I retweet so much. <laughs> Let's go uh, 510, you there? Five one zero. Three one three. You there? What up, though? What up? How much? Oh, battle crazy, bro. <clears throat> Beginning to the end, super crazy. If you put money on it, it'd be a draw. You wouldn't get your money. But if I had to pick a winner, I would say the third round it seemed like JC turned into a super saiyan. <laughs> it's like he turned it up a notch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I heard it's that reference fast. like five times just today. Yeah, it's like like your last battle I seen. It seemed like, I don't know if that's how you setting up your rounds now. It's like your third round. <clears throat> like I said, it seemed like you go Super Saiyan, bro. It's like I don't, I don't get it. But like I said, if I had to choose the winner, I would give it to you that on that premise. Like that third round, like I said, it seemed like you turned it up a notch. And it, I've been watched it like five times, and I get the same reaction every third round. I mean, that's about it. Rather than that, like I said, everybody wins. Because if I put money on it, I couldn't get no money from it. Like I said, so it's a great battle. I got to watch it five times, so it got replay value, and that's all you can ask for as a fan. So, exactly. Exactly. So, shout out to both of y'all. Keep doing y'all shit. <laughs> no, you are real. I appreciate that, bro. Salute, bro. All right, thanks for the call. Let's go three, four, seven. You there? Three four seven. Six one five. You there? What's good, man? What's good? What's good? What's hey, man. I just want to congratulate you, man. Uh, I think y'all definitely got this. It's, it's the best battle I've ever seen, man. I, I watch all the battle leagues, bro. I watch URL. Everybody, you know what I mean. And, and bar for bar, there's no battle you can show me on YouTube that's going to. Change my mind that it's not better than y'all's. You know what I mean? I don't even. I think I'm both of everybody else is saying. You know what I mean? And I really do believe that these top tier dudes are gonna. They can't keep running from y'all. I think they're gonna start coming to y'all because just of what they saw from this and that that y'all are the new ones coming up, and y'all are crazier than they are. And I and I'm a huge fan of them. You know what I mean? But I think y'all are more. Hey and talented as they are, and they know that. You know what I mean? Deep down, they know that. I think that's why Hitman did what he did and, and took John John. You know what I mean? Because yeah, right, right. he kept playing him down, but, like, he knew that he had he needed to take that battle. That's why I think, J.C., I want to see you in, in Hitman battle, and I want to see Chilla and Charlie Clips. I mean, I don't know how that works with them being, you know, where they're at or whatever, but. Where they at? St. Louis and New York? Yeah, <laughs> but I just I just want to shout you. We ain't talking talk about no top tier. Ain't no, ain't no top tier. Ain't no top tier. There's, what there's, 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 there's seniority so longer, yeah. and they get a you know they get an extra you know like I don't know they just got you know they they was here from the you know ground zero and stuff like that. Whoa, but, whoa. I, mean, I, I, I got a friend asking me. Why did you Ric Flair chop John John the Don during your battle? <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know I was gonna like break his chest ball. I didn't even think I did that. Like it cut me off because like 
when I did it, and he said, ow, and then Jazz started laughing. I'm like, oh, shit, like, I done, I done broke his heart. Like, I done literally broke his heart. And I'm like, okay, let me, I, I don't know. Like, I was, you know, every, it was a, um, I, before that battle, um, John John, I want to say, was arguing with, uh, Mm, Judge Juice, I want to say, or, 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 or uh, Big K, one of them, about our class or they class. So, you know, I had to put something in there about, you know, how every nigga from our PG classes, you know, we made it and y'all coming up and blah, blah, blah. Just some goofy shit like that. But I didn't mean to, you know, throat jab them real quick. It was just, you know, it just happened to be the PG, the, the, the past PG nigga that was next to me. So I had to. You know, sorry, John. Yeah. No, man, you be out. Yeah, he'll be out. <laughs> Junior will be fine. I, I was just saying, Nikki Facts. I, I, it's funny because people are, 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 are tweeting and, and, and propping the, the pictures in the background of people's facial expressions during the battle. I just seen Nikki Facts. I seen John. John. I seen Yo, point in ten. Point in ten is hilarious. <laughs> <Sorry. right? laughs> Yo, I got a specific part. Specific part. Go back to the battle when I say, when I do the um, face the tree or get chin checked. That whole build up leading to that punch, watch Poison Pin's face. That's my <laughs> favorite part. He has this face like, he, like he's looking at a matador with, a, with the red cape. Like, it is hilarious. Like, I'm like, look at him. He, like, he has this face like, I know he finna punch. I know he finna punch. I know he finna punch. And then when I do it, he like almost falls off the page. It's the funniest shit ever. I rewind that part like ten times. I'm like, look at this. No one reacts to battles like that. Him and Josh make the host together. You probably like pick Jazz up and like jump through the roof and then land back and you know. Jimmy Jones still there? Cause you you just totally took Chilla Jones out of his interview. Chill, you there? Yo. <laughs> what are you doing? You playing 2K13? Nah, what'd you say? We were talking about how... Somebody, uh, hey, uh, somebody came up here and challenged you. You ain't even say nothing. What, nigga? I don't know what you said. No, you said something about... Niggas told me that the Shark Tank Battleground has the ugliest fat dude ever, Hazy, and you didn't even respond, and then <laughs> the support. <laughs> hey, Hazy, you need to get Hazy a PG, man. Hey, he has to make the weight yeah. limit. He's still, he's, he's got to lose another 80 pounds, you know what I mean? And then, then, then he showed up to Summer Madness, and he had all this white stuff on the side of his face. We're going to have to work on that, man. I don't know what the case is. Like, <laughs> but sure, let's get to the next caller. Oh, shit. Yeah. 708, you there? Yeah, 708. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. I just want to say, like, like everybody else has been saying, this is one of the craziest battles that pretty much been um been on your side or whatever for a minute. My question is, with with all the craziness, round one, round two, round three, all the craziness, how hard is it for you, JC and Fatilla, to not give like reactions, uh, Jay Z or J C. You said earlier how it's like one of the battles where y'all could just be cool and laugh and joke and just you know have a good time on stage and on front. Of it. How hard is it to not really get reactions to your opponent, knowing they bars to hit? Oh man, like I can't. I'm a front. Like it's it's really, 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 really like it's, it's tougher than a lot of niggas think because you know you the one getting the like. That's just like being the fat nigga no, it's in class. And a nigga might, a nigga might say something to you, and he'd be the funniest nigga in the class, and it was the best joke you ever. Like he'll say, "Yo, Norbs look like he boiled his hot dogs in jacuzzi water," and a nigga be just laughing and shit. But then Norbs will be the nigga. He'll be the only nigga sitting there like that shit wasn't funny. But if if he said it to another fat nigga, Norbs would be cracked up. Like it's really, really, really hard to not do it. That's why you see me. I might nod my head or. You know, be like, yeah, it was all right, that was all right. And then I'll get home, and then we'll watch the shit. And I'll be like, yeah, this nigga was trying to take my head off. Like, I don't know what the fuck. I was, I'll be standing there. Some of the times I act like I ignore him. Like, 
we was in Black Star. It was like a, a stripper video on on the back um, TV, and I was watching that and shit. But um, <laughs> like, like, I know y'all remember it because y'all laughing. So you, you really look like you just be zoning out. It's, it's real hard though, because niggas be like, like I said, most of the time though, niggas don't say too much shit that that wild me. Like you know what I mean? It's my my, my wheels in my head are always turning. So I'm oh, rapping with you most of the time. I know where you're going. I know the line, but. Chiller caught me up with a lot of shit about hot dogs, dogs and jacuzzi water. That might be the funniest <laughs> thing I've heard. <laughs> but, but, like, for real, like, when I, when I look at the battle, when I look at JC, it always looks like JC is just kind of, um, like, his own little world. Like, he, like you, you kind of rock, you know what I'm saying, left and right, your eyes are going around the crowd. And in my head, I be thinking that you just going over your verse or you just somewhere else. Because it's way too hard to me. To not give any reactions when you know what I'm saying when somebody really is going to work or whatever. Yeah, I mean, like I said, for the most part, a lot of niggas don't say shit to me that is just crazy. To where I just be like, mm, okay, you you got you got one you got you snuck one in there. It was you know like I think if you if you listen if you go back and watch all my battles, Chilla might be the first person I've ever said anything to in a battle. Like when he did that nail you J shit, I was like. Yo, that was cold. Like that was cold. Because everybody like my name. My name is J C. Like, how many different ways are you gonna flip that? So for him to take my actual name and flip that, it snuck up on me. So when he did it, and the way he did it, the shit was dope. And I was like, okay, that was cold. Like I can't. I'm not gonna jump in it and, and start floating and, and transform into a fucking you know tow truck or some shit. But the shit was dope. Like you know, I. I don't never say nothing in the battle, but as far as, you know, going over my line, like, I always, I'm always crispy with the lines, like, I always know the shit, but, you know, it's, it's not a lot of niggas that say shit to me that's just, oh my God, I can't believe he just said that. Mm. Right. Yeah. I feel, I feel the same way, it's like, uh, you know, there, there was a couple bars, um, the... Uh, yak in the back seat, shit, man. That's that shit. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, no, I am. that 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 was one of my favorite punches. Of the whole battle, that that shit was crazy. But that shit, that, li that, that line, that line was the. I had to react. Yeah, it, it, it came like I was watching this shit, um, and it was it was on BET, and I was so upset. No, it was, yeah, it was on BET. And I was so upset because they was doing the voiceovers and shit like that, and um. <laughs> It was that that scene. They like if you listen to it on BET, it's horrible. But you know that's that's I was actually watching the movie when I came up with the line. It wasn't no shit that was just like in my head and I like but BET. I had it's nothing to do with the battle. I just want to say that. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, seven five seven. You did. Come on, JC. Uh, I have I have made the best made the best just. On Twitter, said oh shit, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> That's my cousin. <laughs> I'm out, I'm out, y'all, I'm out. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, listen, I'm gonna let everybody know, everybody listening. When I battled Chilla and said, "Run in your crib, pop your mom," I'm your stepfather. <laughs> Off of a reflex, because that's just how we do in battles. I pointed to her because she was right behind Chilla. So she got so offended that I called her his mama that she didn't want to watch the battle when it came out. This is a public apology. That young lady is not Chilla Jones' mama. <laughs> if anybody believed that young woman was his mama, y'all don't need to watch another battle ever. And you also have to apologize to Charlie Clutch because you told him he ordered diet french fries from McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he was really offended by that, JC. You, you got to publicly apologize for that. Um, nope. You also <laughs> said that he he tried to buy the recipe. I'm gonna write down everything you said. <laughs> How do you remember all this shit, though? I because okay, it was hilarious. And Charlie Clip was really mad. And then when you said that he ordered twenty skinless nuggets, it was over. No, John John said that. <laughs> <laughs> John John said he ordered twenty skinless nuggets from from McDonald's. Jazz, when are you gonna come with us on the road? Can can you tell us everybody wants to come with us on the road? 
Am I not gonna what? Come with us on the road. You know the road games are the funnest road, uh, are the funnest battles. Just let you know. That's true. When am I gonna come with y'all on the road? Like go to the event that's not in New York? Yes. Um, I mean, I don't be going nowhere when I'm in school. If I gotta go somewhere, I ain't going. JC, what's your response to that? Tried that we did this fight a long time ago. I think it was when it was in Detroit or some shit like that. And she was talking about school and and, and I was like, I, you know, you want to be against it, but school was the excuse, so I couldn't really fight. But I'm not gonna fight her. That's my sister. No, go eat a, like a, a hot pocket or a cold pocket or some shit. You you gotta stop bringing Shana Ashley's twin brother with you to every battle. Seriously. Who is Shana what? Ashley's twin brother? Hazy. You cannot. You gotta stop bringing him to the battles. I don't bring him. <laughs> <laughs> he looks exactly like Shane Ashley. I had to say that. Let's get to the next ball. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Um, yeah, eight five nine. You did. Eight five nine. Yo. One more call and that's it. Yeah. Yo, what's good? JC, Chilla, Jazz, Noz, what's good with y'all, man? What's good, man? What's, good? what's happening? First of all, man, I'm going to say I've seen a lot of tweets. People saying top three. Nah, this is the best bout I've ever seen in my life, yo. I'm being honest, man. I mean, it's crazy, yo. It's too many quotables, it's rebuttals, yeah, and all yeah. that, man. It's crazy. So, like I said, shout out to JC. Shout out to Chill and shout out to JC because my name is JC, so you know another shout uh, out to you. You in good company, bro. Yeah, oh, definitely, man. But um, who, what y'all got next? I know Chilla got B Magic. Well, who you got next, JC? I got Young Ill next. Hmm. Yeah, that's you gotta get crazy. that work. You gotta get that work. Young Ill, hold on, are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gotta get that. He gotta get that work. Man, that's gonna be even more crazy. Young Ill is crazy. Yo, that's gonna be. That's gonna be crazy too. But you know, what I'm saying, Norris, we ain't giving us a date for the next event though. What happened? We ain't giving us a date for the next event. Uh, I don't even know the date, man. They don't even tell me. I just show up. I swear to God, I just show up for the event. <laughs> Jazz, Jazz, kill, uh, kill QB for me though. I don't like her, man. For real, kill her. No, I was just, no, I was just about to tell you I like your voice, and now that you said that, I got you. Oh, oh you like my voice? Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna click, comment. Click on over here on the live show, and I know Norb's <laughs> gonna be mad if I say what I'm gonna say, so I'm not gonna comment on that. But uh, good look at Jazz. Please. You know what I'm saying? Please. Please. Follow her. Follow her. Some shit. Be like, yo, this, this the voice. Yeah, okay, I'm already following you, Jazz. I'm already following you, so that's all good. Make your yeah, go ahead, and get him, Jazz. Make yourself known. Say this is the voice. <laughs> I'm gonna be tweeting you after after the show is over. But nah, man, y'all do good. Y'all keep doing y'all thing, Chilla Jones. Keep doing you, Kill B Magic. I fucks be Magic, but he gonna die. Kill Young Ill J C. Jazz Kill QB. You know what I'm saying? And. That's the best bout I've ever seen. Shout out to Sue Surf. You said top three, but it's better than Big T and yours. I'm sorry, bro. I fucked with you, but it's better than y'all battle. Sorry, bro. You know what I'm saying? Big T, I mean, he didn't kill you, but he won every round. I can't even pick a win on this one. You know what I'm saying? That's how crazy this one is. So, right, right. shout out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Chilla Jones with your schemes. You got niggas thinking. I was thinking the whole battle. I'm like, yo, how'd you come up with that shit? You know what I'm saying? But Hi, shout out man. to you, though. Appreciate it, G. All right, y'all. I'm out, man. Keep doing y'all shit, turn. Right. Uh, you look just like Hazy. No, yo, listen. I'm be for real. That nigga sounded so inspired. Like <laughs> that nigga. <laughs> yo, that's the best that I've seen in my life. No, my like, sister's my sister's breaking said that I watched it yesterday with him, and after he was like, Jasmine, that's the best battle I've ever seen in my life." And I'm like, "Okay, what?" Because he really liked Big Cancer. I was like, was it better than that? He was like, yes, it was better than that. I'm like, all right, sorry. 30K, no, it's 30K for the next, for the next gun. 30K. <laughs> Hollywood, Hollywood. <laughs> I, I killed both of you. 
You want to say, yeah, well, bury me with 30K. Listen, listen, do we have a new rule on the show? Cycle. If a guy hits on jazz, you have to hang up the call. On him. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, immediately hang up on him. <laughs> Let's get to the next call. Uh, but jazz yeah, hit on him. So what then would you do? Yeah, I definitely, I definitely um, initiated that. Hello? Yeah, 216. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm at Thomas James Live on Twitter, man. I, I done called in a couple of weeks straight. I've been trying to get on, man. How y'all doing? Uh, yeah, how doing? yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a promoter in Cleveland, man. I've been, I follow this, uh, battle rap shit like, man, like, like I'm addicted to it, though. But I wanted to address something real, real important, I thought can really help out the culture. Like, I really cannot see how, like, battle rappers jump in and jump out of the, of the game, like, and they treat it, they try to treat battling like it ain't, like it really ain't nothing, man. I can't stand that shit. Like, how, I know some of them got to act, but how Hollywood Mook act, man, I feel like he really disrespecting the game, man. Like, to look at somebody, how we, how we follow along with this battle shit and how we look up to it, and how they try to play it like this little nigga shit and ask for astronomical amounts of money, man. I just like smack, smacking like whoever control this whole situation could should like put regulations down, man. Where where certain artists they just gotta follow the rules or 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 it's just gonna go past them. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like the game is being put pulled in like a, into like a tug of war situation where. It, it don't have no control over itself. And anybody can jump in on some diva shit and just kind of control it, man. I don't feel like that's fair because I feel like, I mean, Lord Luck's attitude and, and uh, Murder Mook's attitude is two different people. And I think we need everybody to have different personalities. But, like, it's just like some of these cats just disrespect the game, retiring after two battles, all that shit, man. I feel like we should, we should focus our energy towards and promoting people who really take it seriously, you know what I'm saying, and who really who yeah, really yeah. You know, who really would like? I feel like I seen that battle with uh, with JC and Chilla yesterday, and I I done watched it three times already. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's hunger. You feel me? If if you pay some hungry cats, I respect that. But some nigga that's coming for, just for a check, I mean, you you see the result. The end result is if he coming for a check, he give you a subpar performance. So somebody who hungry, who really wanted, who has something to prove. I mean, you get a load of Lux battle, you get a Chilla Jones and JC battle. You know, so. I mean, we don't want to see them Hollywood niggas on the stage anyway. You can, you, you know. So I feel like, you know, with all due respect, if if it's some form of uh, uh, check and balance system put in place to make sure these artists respect the game, man, I think it need to be done. You know, because they just they getting way out of hand, man. You know, that's what hey, I got. Hey, mention, hey, mention me on Twitter, man. I'm about to follow this nigga. Y'all, whoever listening, and 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 especially if the battle rappers listening, all y'all need to. Pay attention to what that nigga just said. Yeah, I'm, I'm at Thomas right. James. Niggas like, I mean, I'm from Cleveland. I, I respect. I, I respect. I love it. I love it. My fault. Go ahead, man. My. The niggas like niggas like Meek Mills who say I'm watching this shit. I'm gonna jump in and really kill one of these niggas. Give me a hundred k and I want something off the door. The fuck is you kidding? This ain't even. This is not like if you get a hundred racks for a show. You this this is not this is not the same shit. It's not the same shit. The funny thing about it is the nigga was never hot as a battle rapper. He was known, but he wasn't hot. So let's be honest. Like, who who are you? Like, are you honestly worth more? I mean, I can understand you might generate you might generate a little bit more money because of who you are. But as far as going to get like, he would jump in the ring with one of these niggas and get killed. I won't put my money on no established rapper against a battle rapper. <laughs> Yeah, I think cannabis put a bad taste in everybody's mouth, you know, when it comes to that. So everybody kind of on pins and needles. His glasses were too small. <laughs> on pins and needles. But I really think, like, something got to happen, like, to to regulate it, like, to really put rules in place. And so, you know, at the end of the day, they're going to either fall in line or get out the way because it can't be ain't, – ain't no way, you know, certain people can just control UFC. You know what I'm saying? Like, if if, if – uh, Tito Ortiz decide never to fight again, 
people still gonna watch UFC and not give, and they eventually stop giving a fuck about Tito Ortiz. You know what I'm saying? He got to follow the rules, or they not gonna they not gonna put him in the ring. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I think it need to be regulated, and they gotta they gotta be mandated that they respect it. And 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 at at first, you know. These top ten niggas, they gonna go to different leagues and jump ship, you know this, that, and the third. They gonna be disloyal, but you you see what's even happening with Arsenal shit. Like, he, don't nobody respect that shit all the way over there, man. Like, and he getting his dumb ass killed every time he get on stage. And like, so people gonna <laughs> it, it, they value they value gonna go down. So we see, I feel like as a whole situation, we shouldn't be worried about who don't follow the rules because the real people, Silla Jones or whatever the case may be, and JC who really want it, they gonna fall in line. So who don't fall in line, fuck them. You let them do what they're going to do because they're going to fall off eventually. You know what I'm saying? So I, that's what I think. That's what I think, though. I think it, it need to be somebody need to put their foot down and say, this is what it is. You can't get with that. Have a nice day. You get 10000 if you top tier, if you're putting in work or whatever the case may be. I don't know what the numbers boil down to, but 50000 to 60000 get the fuck out of here, man. You're not even getting that on show. You know what I'm saying? If for you to come in with a subpar performance, it should be, a, it should be a, uh, something in the contract to say, if if you sub or perform, shit, you only get your deposit. That's it. Get get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I just think it should be some, you know, because that's that. And they, and they coming back like they didn't even lose. Like, and they not even they not even acknowledging the fact that this was this was bad. No, no, it, it wasn't that bad. Give me fifty thousand. Like, come on, how could you not see your product is not good? Like, I mean. You you fucking your brand up when you come in, and then you're not even acknowledging the fact that I mean, real is real. If you can't see that you you didn't put thirteen hundred dislike. I mean, how many dislikes was it? Four five thousand dislike. That should have told you really what it is, you know. And you still oblivious to the fact, pretending to be a, a celebrity where you this is what you got known for. You disrespecting it. I I just can't. I don't right, know. Right, 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 right. I don't respect that, man. That's 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 really all I had to say, though. But uh, yo, hey, that JC Chiller battle, man. I'm gonna watch it the fourth time, man. I, y'all, I don't know what y'all, which kind of Red Bulls y'all had before the before the shit, man. But y'all should come <laughs> up <with> that. <laughs> yeah, most definitely crazy. appreciate it, bro. That's oh, crazy. Crazy. Thank you. That's the last one. Let's go. I'm, last I'm gonna thank y'all though. Too. I'm gonna thank y'all though. That, that, follow me at Thomas James Line. I'm gonna thank y'all though, man. Cause y'all give me something. to... Look forward to man. So yeah, Thomas at, at Thomas James live on Twitter. I'm leave y'all with that. Right, right. Appreciate it, G. Cool, cool. Well, thank you. That's cool. That was real shit right like there. But yeah. Jesse, shout out to Twitter. Everything. Let them know. So congratulations on the battle with you and Mr. Chiller Jones. Thirty K. Got a shout out. Thirty K. Yeah, I don't know about that. But uh, <laughs> you know, uh <laughs> shout out your Twitter. Shout out everything. Chilla, you still there, nigga? You sleep? I've been here, bro. I'm saying, you know that, you know that nigga Hazy look like Kamala, right? Well, let's go to the home. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, man. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, shout yeah, out. You got a shout out, and then we gonna get out of here. Jazz, you too. Shout out, you gonna shout out. Let's start off with Chilla. At Chilla Jones on Twitter. YouTube.com backslash Chilla Jones, Facebook slash Chilla Jones. Um, new joint, new mixtape dropping tomorrow. Certified Volume Two, The Passion. Look out for that. I'll be blasting the link out tomorrow afternoon. Um, and that's it. Look out for me and Be Magic coming soon. Hey, hey. Yo, some nigga named Malcolm X just added me on Facebook. Okay, so anyway, yeah. Uh, shout out to everybody for watching the battle. Um, yeah, I know it's random as fuck, my phone just went off. Um, yeah, 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 so, yeah, shout out to everybody who watched the battle, everybody who tweeted it, everybody who gonna get that shit to a million views, because it better be up there. Shout out to Chiller for the Classic, follow me on Twitter at the kid J underscore C, and I do got Young Ill next, he gotta get this work, and, uh, fuck everything else. <laughs> And Shout out to Chili Jones mom too. <laughs> tell tell me I said what's up. <laughs> Jazz, give everybody your prices. Huh? <laughs> Jazz rapper, give everybody your prices for facial expressions. <laughs> <He's> stupid. <laughs> nah, but for real, please inquire to me. If you're gonna put a Jazz rapper, Jazz is one thing. Don't say two Z's because she'll be really upset at you. <laughs> she looking for you. She looking for the voice. She looking. No, she's not. Get that Twitter name wrong. Don't get the name wrong, voice. That nigga don't like easy. <laughs>
You look like Hazy. I swear to God, he look like Hazy. Hazy happens to be the ugliest nigga in Boston. But Psycho, take us out of here. You are Rails Battle Rap Arena. Check us out next week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks again to JC, Chilla, and Jazz for coming on the show. We out.